The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Nigga starting us off with maturity. Nah. Let's start us off with, I'm with, definitely with Apple stocks, dog. Instead of buying them dumbass boots, they just different. You got a Playboy? What you gonna wear with them? That's what I want to see. <laughs> I wear a lot of red. <laughs> what you mean? They shows well, you style them anyway. Depend, depending the depending on who's around. Yoga pants. Uh, well, depending on who's around. Got you. There's a certain uh, amount of blue people in, in the room. You think? It's no, I'm just saying. You don't always wear a lot of red. Mm. No, I do. Uh, no, I do. <laughs> man, intro this shit, man. No, well, no, I, we don't need no intro today. They waiting. They just slid out here. I just we, this is the intro. Are we here to tell the truth? I want to tell the truth. Me, I don't know. I can't speak for. Or the rest of not me. so much the truth. Today is a good day to get in order what degree of liar you are. <laughs> are you die with the lie tribe? Are you uh, come clean halfway through tribe? Figure out your brand of liar today, because I'm going to see it. Park's going to do that playing with his beard shit that he do when he, <laughs> when he get the lying body language and shit. I'm a, I'm a Ish ain't never water. wore the black helmet lang. He got his lies is on ready to go with the black helmet lang. <laughs> Zaire is the only one to get a pass to lie because of his profession. He's a fucking world class athlete. So y'all are just liars by sport. Uh, me and Ice, though, we might take this thing where it need to go today. Mm. I, I'm here to tell the truth. I, I, I plan on. Telling we the might truth. take this thing where YouTube, chicks, mm. get ready. Get your tape decks ready. All right. Mm. Nah, I'm fronting right now. Yeah, I know. I'm fronting. <laughs> One way ticket to I'm, Panderville. Dog, I work for me, and I'm not firing myself. <laughs> let me make let me make the announcement. Hey, if Dana, what's his name, could do it. What's his name? Dana what? White. Yeah, I ain't firing me neither. <laughs> ha ha. Now, I'm fronting. I don't know how much truth I'm gonna give. I'm just entertaining. We know. <laughs> nah, we keeping it in the buck, man. I'm with now, if Zaire doing that, the battery in my back. Uh -oh. yeah, if Zaire yeah, saying man. that, the battery's in that's, my that's back. That's how we carry it today. That's how we carry it They want the truth. They don't want the bullshit. They've seen enough of the bullshit. They want the truth. Mm, for sure. All right. All right, I'm going to start with lovey-dovey vibes because for some of us, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> for some of you, it is not. It's just, just it's another just, day. It's just another it's day. just another day, right? <laughs> Corey don't give a fuck about Valentine's Day. He was locked up for mad Valentine's Days. No visits, commissary low, no furlough, no nothing. No nothing. No Just a cute little nigga down the hall. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, little nigga. How, how long you been? <laughs> uh, did anybody here wake up and celebrate Valentine's Day? Wake up? Celebrate? Up? No. No. A little tough. How you celebrate on wake up? Come on, you know, you wake up, you put a little more flair in the good morning text or oh, yeah, verbiage. Yeah, yeah I did that. You put a little more enthusiasm in your normal, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You just soup it up a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did that. I celebrated that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you got that rent money. <laughs> you pick that? Did you pick that? <laughs> oh, happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Make sure you drop that off. Oh, send that over before we. Come on, man! I just celebrate. I'm, I'm, Yo, wake it up I'm in here, the, man! Wow. Yes. Wake it up! You got the rest. Come on! We went, out, we went out this weekend. Hey, we, we did a bunch. Um, we we went out to dinner. We did. Um, I went to the Eddie Griffin comedy show. Okay. And, uh, oh, he's starting for that's real. That's romantic. For real. All right, I got to intro this thing. If we're oh, starting for real. You for saying real. what we did, you know, celebrating. Oh, I just I mean, not like to talk some shit. What you did, Zaire? You celebrate? I mean, 
I mean, I mean this, 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 season this, this, over, Super Bowl over, excuses over. No, I mean, it's end of the season, you <laughs> feel me? It's, it's Valentine's Day every time where we at, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how you got to carry it, though. Yeah. yeah. That's how you carry it, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean? Oh, what you, 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 you don't, you don't like, even you celebrate the shit. I know. What, what you he dad? said it's Valentine's Day every day. You know what I mean? Man, we get flowers on the regular. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we shot oh, on the regular. Oh, my God. See, he watched the pod. See, he watched the pod. He came here. He potted to me. Yeah. You ain't do nothing. Extra for Valentine's off, Day. Off. No, hold on. Let, let, let him in. He lost some of that aggression he was talking to me. Nah, no, nah, that wasn't no aggression. No. But yeah, man. Well, we supposed to, we supposed to do a little New York trip, but it didn't work out, though. Just we you. want to double back, though. Yeah. Huh? Just you. No. Just you came to New York now. Yeah. Well, yeah, just me came to New York. Now, now just me and New York. He had to go say bye to uh, Coach Saturday, probably. Nah. To get up out of here. Uh, so Yo, I got to go. Pie and then, I got to right, go meet the coach. Right. I got to head out of here. <laughs> yeah, a little meeting up at NBC. Yeah. Oh, shit, we got a new coach already. Man. <laughs> got to learn the playbook. Got to learn the playbook. No, yeah. A little mean, a little New York trip. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a little night out, but we're going to double that back, though. We're going to work on it, though. So it's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. That's how the vets do it, right? I, I mean, <laughs> right? I <wouldn't> know. <laughs> right? When were you with a girl, how long you out dated for Valentine's Day to stop caring? Because my OG been married for like twenty five years, and he dates on some. Oh, we gonna do what we do on a Tuesday type of thing. Oh well, he can do that. Yeah, twenty five years of marriage. Twenty five years, time, you can do what you want. Yeah. How long y'all feel like you could date a girl and then violence? Because at some point, when you first start dating a girl, you gotta Valentine's Day has to. Oh, yeah. I ain't saying you got to, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I don't know. I ain't that type. I ain't the roses in the hole, all the floor with the oil. I don't know if that's really my line. It's not supposed to drop off, but it can definitely slope. You know, we slope down a little bit. Mm-hmm. After Pause. Maybe, Hilarious. Yeah, you're going crazy. So I, I asked slope these guys down. if they felt like Valentine's Day was their holiday, and they were like, no, it's emphatic not. no. It's, it's like a, it's more like an Men obligation. Men don't have any holidays, though. Uh, no. We don't even get Father's Day. <laughs> no, we don't. We barely <laughs> get a birthday. No, we, we don't. don't. Go hit that grill. Get some socks. And stay over there. Don't burn nothing either. Yeah. So Valentine's Day isn't something that you look forward to with your girl? I mean, not really, to be honest with you. I mean, you look forward to spending that time. Yeah, you know I'm saying like that, but it ain't like I'm finna get the. I mean, I don't know if I want flowers though, but like you know <laughs> I look saying? forward to it's it's making her happy. That's yeah, what, that's, that's what it is. It's yeah. just make, yeah, it ain't that shit ain't for me. Like you getting yeah. your man back to try and do what you can to put a smile on shorty face. Would you guys be surprised if your girls gave you gifts on Valentine's Day? Yes. Oh yeah. hell yeah! Shocked. No. Sure. Thrilled. No. No. Mine show up for me. Yeah. I don't know what they talking about. <laughs> <laughs> when I used yeah, to no. do Valentine's Day, my, my girls used to give me shit. Wait, so you did used to do it? Yeah, yeah. So what'd you stop? So you retired from doing it. <laughs> when you retire? In the nineties? Probably like <laughs> no, probably like maybe like ten years ago, something like that. Any reason? You just like I'm over this <clears> shit? <throat> we had this conversation already. All right, my bad. Never mind. Okay. okay. Mm. You got it. So do you get gifts now? Oh, tell the truth. Yo. Tell the truth. Yeah. Tell the truth. <laughs> Wait, no. Time to tell and the he truth. called her, ma'am. <laughs> I said, ma'am. Hey, ma'am. Come on, come on. Say, look at oh, I thought he yeah. said, ma'am. Yeah. 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 Ma'am, that's funny. Don't that's that what he that said. Listen, not too much on Mel. <laughs> not too much that's on Mel. Not too much on Mel. Not too much on Mel. Not too much on Mel. Or ma'am. Fuck y'all. Okay. You know what I get sent a lot? Dildos. Huh? I don't know why, but we're talking about what you give. <laughs> oh, your, my God, see? Well, uh, what I give? Yeah. You always want to oh, well, beer. yeah, I don't give dildos. Um, no, <laughs> yeah, no. I listen. If I had a dude, I'd love to trick on him. Mm. Abs- I'm a I'm a massive gift gu- giver. Mm. Yes, okay. yes. But not. But if you don't have a dude, then you're not a tricker. Well, I mean, who the fuck am I tricking on? Dudes. I, man, come on. Yo. Now. If you call me, I'm a don't, fuck do, yo, don't do that, Mel. No. I'm what? intro on this part. I'm not playing with y'all. Don't do that. <laughs> what? Who could it be that I, you would trick on? Because if there's no boyfriend, then there's no man anywhere. Right. No, no dude in the picture at all. Oh, if no dating, tech, yeah, if DM, just dinner, it, social, mm, hangout, yeah, nah, nah, someone that nah, nah, thinks nah, he nah. has your interest. Yeah. No, don't exist, huh? No, 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 no. Mm-mm, no. I'm tricking, right, on my, so, I'm tricking on my dude. So we're lying to them. My guy. No, I'm not lying. I'm being so let's say ass. hypothetically you was dating a dude, just kicking it, not official, mm-hmm. but y'all was kicking it for three months. Right. He don't get a gift today. I mean, you know, the... no, we don't. That's a no. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a strong that's no. no. And, and if it's not a no, it certainly isn't a. Yes. Oh, I'm a big tricker, gift no, giver. No. In 
in that respect, like around that time, it's more the gift giving is more about experiences. You know what I mean? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Keish, Keish, call me. Yeah, what's up? Keish, yeah, come on, Keish. <laughs> <laughs> Are we on Adderall today or not? Experiences like nah. um, bondage, you know, like uh, uh, <laughs> stuff like that. Sent from <laughs> <laughs> microphone check, mic check, one two, one two, one two. Let me get these drops out the way so we can have some fun. A lot to get to today. Uh, <laughs> Oh, all right. Microphone check. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Welcome to episode 602 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Sister Mel is here. Zaire is here. Fresh back, huh? Huh? Fresh back from the big game. Yeah. Ish is here. Uh, Ice is here. Parks is here. Poe is here. Corey is here. Uh, Erickson is here. And there's some more niggas in the back. Uh, Flip is not here because he thought it's some elaborate lie to say to take off for Valentine's Day, but <laughs> he's married. Let him get his shit off. How's everybody feeling? How y'all doing? Talk pretty to me. Good, talk to me. Good, pretty good. Feeling Amazing. great, man. Bless, bless. Amazing. Those are beautiful red roses. Did somebody send those to you? Uh, no. I purchased those this morning. Oh, okay. From my little uh, plant exchange that I go to mm. when I was buying my baby some flowers. Well, they're lovely. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah. And it was packed in there this morning. I bet it was. Yeah. And, and let me tell y'all, well, it's supposed to be packed, right? But let me tell y'all, it was girls in there. Like, they was buying the roses. Tricking on their men. That was different for me this year. Galentine's Day. Or tricking on their men. Girl. Galentine's Day. That's what it was. Your moms, your mother, your Or they were everybody sister. but a guy, right? <laughs> or their yeah. girl. Galentine's Day. We should fucking... That shit is hilarious. Why? Okay, why is Valentine's Day hilarious? Because we can't have Valentine's Day. That's you guys Bowl. can have bromances, though. Y'all don't even like each other at the Galentine's Day. <laughs> Y'all hate each other. That Talk part. Y'all don't show. support each other. The I... whole women empowerment shit is a big ass myth. myth. So, Galentine's Day, what? I will absolutely say that a lot of times people who like women when they walk around talking about women empowerment are usually the most elitist bitches on the fucking planet and they're fucking liars. Absolutely, I agree with that. However, I am one of those women that supports the fuck out of my girlfriends and it is reciprocated. Did you so, buy flowers? No, no. I thought you did a no. big trick. No. Uh, <laughs> they couldn't get no flowers? I'm tricking on my dude. That's number one. And number two, you want to know how I show my support? My girlfriend, she has a she has a, um, a beer garden in Harlem. I wore mm. a t-shirt here on a huge platform. Didn't say anything about it, but that's how you support. Oh. You know mm. what I'm saying? That is. Okay. There. Promotion. So. Okay. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Product you know. placement. Well, yeah, I figured I would buy some flowers for Valentine's Day. Just go with the spirit. That's nice, too. The spirit mm -hmm. of things. Fancy how they did a little shit around the bowl. And the red I never hat. saw that before. Mm -hmm. That's, That's what expensive. You the hat. Nice arrangement. <laughs> you said the hat. Let's see what you oh, did. look at your hat. You're in the spirit, too. Oh, what is last part? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. The same exact it's red hat from the last bar. <laughs> it's, 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 it's different today, though. You <laughs> look out yeah, there. yeah, it hit a little different today. Uh, hi to you guys out there, wherever you're listening from, uh, watching from. Hi. Now, let's get to the truth. Come on. Tell the truth, man. Come on. Let's tell it. We talking about the Super Bowl. Hey, the Super Bowl. One what of, a great Super Bowl. One of the greatest Super Bowls I've watched in recent memory. Mm -hmm. Yes. The game or this just the, hands, game itself. the whole ensemble? The game itself. The game. The Super Bowl. The game itself. <laughs> now you tell. He's starting early. It's, <laughs> I'm just, no, I'm just trying. <laughs> what, it's you, what you mean the whole ensemble? Well, I ain't going to hold you. I mean, I, 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 I never heard of who Chris Stapleton was, but he was snapping at the, uh, I'm young, bro. Don't do that, bro. I was just, I'm young, bro. Hey, he no, just I, finished I'm saving not, not, Stevie Wonder and Smokey Robinson's ass <laughs> last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> He's been having a week. Yeah, yeah he definitely did. Nah, he, he gets busy. He don't play. Yeah, he was going crazy. He had my crying in that joint. Right. My man Sirianni had that joint. Terry out. I'm all, yeah. It's a day. And uh, Sh Shirley Ralph smoked. Um, what she saying? Uh, lift every about, voice. Yeah, lift every voice. Mm -hmm. Smoked it. Mm -hmm. Baby face. Like, I see that. You ain't see that? Well, I did. I was shocked. <laughs> I did see it. You, you see don't think smoke? she smoked it? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I don't hate now, nigga. Oh, you can tell the truth though. My bad. <laughs> what? Tell I'm the sorry. Truth. Tell the truth. She smoked. Tell the truth. Put me up. Put me up. No, Come on, Let's go. No, stop, 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 stop. I know she did a good job, but I mean, she ain't smoking. <laughs> Smoke. She's. This is my thing. I'm be respectful. 
that song that she sung, this is why I'm laughing, wasn't even sung in the key for you us to say she smoked it. It was the lowest of it was sing a song. Nah, she hit the notes and shit though, bro. Been, 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 There's only but so much smoking you're going to do and lift every voice and sing. Well, I that's, never knew her to be a singer. She just put her out. I didn't know that, she though. She original yeah. dream girls or something like that? She can sing. Something. I knew her from acting, acting yeah. and shit. So when, I, when they said that, I was like, oh, shit. Nah, she no, no, no she like, can oh, sing. Shit. She went up there. I guess that's why I'm saying that she didn't smoke it. Yeah. Because she can sing. See, I didn't know that. So, yeah, got it, got so it. I was like, she bodied that shit. And she did hit some runs and some notes in there. Oh, if she bodied it, then then what you then you better mute up for this halftime talk. No, I'm not. <laughs> if, she, if, if, if Cheryl Lee <laughs> Ralph bodied it. I ain't muting up for nothing. All for right. Halftime talk. Come on, let's come on, let's let's get to the game. What an enjoyable game. Yeah, you rarely get a, a high scoring game that's also competitive and has moments of good defense at least. It wasn't a defensive saying. battle by any stretch, but yeah. mm-hmm. It wasn't That's trash what defense. Though. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just an all-out shootout. It was a good game. That's what you want, though. You don't want those 13 to 16 games in the Super, Super Bowls. Bowls. You that don't want one, that. Uh, you, want, you want some That Rams-Patriots electric- game a couple years ago? Oh, my oh God. My God. <laughs> But it was in Atlanta and a stripper bowl was going on at the same time. So I mean, that's facts. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a good day. Would you there? Would you at the stripper bowl? Huh. Yeah, I might have slid through just for a little bit. <laughs> well, just to see what just, just for just for business though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So a lot of contacts mm-hmm. be made there. Indeed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, networking. Yeah. networking. Yeah. Networking. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my new thing. Yeah. Networking. A couple yeah. dollars being exchanged. Yeah. yeah. Both ways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Would you? I'm sure there was some stripper bowls in uh, Arizona though. Oh my god. What? I mean, did you hear about it? And a whole bunch of transactions. <laughs> as, as a faithful man? I mean, did I you? I mean, yeah, you know, uh, my situation, uh, you know, but uh, I was out there moving around, but I ain't never really been out in Arizona before, man. Oh, you Arizona. were out there? Yeah, yeah, oh, I was okay. out there for a week. Um, a couple of parents are just doing my thing out there, but yeah, no, nah, it was a vibe out there. I ain't never spent no time out there. It's cold out there in the desert, though. They, they be capping about Freezing. how warm oh, it is. Like, I, it's probably is 110 in July. But when that sun go down, bro, yeah. I had a hoodie on, and that I was shivering. That shit was hitting me in the sides and shit. I'm like, God damn, it's supposed to be warm out there. <laughs> You're a linebacker. You're never supposed to shiver. Exactly. Yeah. Bro, yeah. No but I, but they caught me slipping. That wind was punching me in the sides. I'm damn. I'm like, let's go in the club. This shit cold in this month. But no, nah, it was a vibe out there. It was definitely it was a lot of movement going on. Yeah, AZ is uh, something special. I got to yeah, go back out there for sure. Right. Shout out to nah, you. I picked the Eagles to win like a da 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 but Everybody was, else did. But Everybody else did. well, I would I had, say it I because I was rooting for huh? the Chiefs. I picked uh-huh. the Eagles, but I was rooting for the Chiefs. I thought that the Eagles were the better team going in, and maybe I was duped. Maybe I was duped. They they all that, all that uh, most sacks all time thing with Patrick Mahomes hurt a little bit. I just mm-hmm. thought they would get to him, fuck him up, which they did. I said they did. Which they did, they didn't, but it didn't. Yeah, sack, they, they did sack him though. They didn't hit him. Get sack I, I don't. Get I don't care all. about that sack. He did get he fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah, I don't scramble. Walk yeah. off the field. I don't scramble. Yeah, I don't care about the sack. I yeah. thought somebody would get their hands on him, and they did. Yeah, mm-hmm. I didn't know that fucking Kansas City had the purest of fentanyl in the back for them to rub <laughs> on his <laughs> yeah. rub on his high ankle sprain, <laughs> or they had and him come out like shit on that ankle, nigga. They had nah. They had some type of bando back there. Yeah, that's a fact. They rubbed some shit in him. He came out like that never happened. <laughs> Man, he ain't forgot he had an ankle. Word. And just <laughs> the Eagles, the Eagles, when you watch them, or when I watch them all year, they looked bigger and stronger than everybody. Mm-hmm. And the Chiefs just looked so much faster everywhere that none of that seemed to matter with their big, slow asses. <laughs> what, what, and, and I saw this, but... They 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 kept reiterating what Philly normally does is get up on you, right? And when they get up on you and score, now you got to pass, and they can set their ears back and blitz the quarterback all day. But if it's an even game and you run in the ball, they don't get a chance to do that. They got to be honest on the run and the pass. You got to play both. What they typically do is they throw a couple passes. They get up on you by 14. Now if they up on you by 14, you got to pass the ball. Now they gonna blitz your dumb ass mm-hmm. all day and sack you. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They couldn't do that to them. Pacheco was balling. He had a great game. Pacheco was balling, and, and they didn't get an opportunity to really do that to Mahomes, Joe. As great as Jalen Hurts played, because boy, did he play a, a hell mm-hmm. of a game. He, 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 earned, he earned whatever contract is coming his way. Mm-hmm. 
You just never felt like the Eagles were in control. What? You, 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 what game was y'all watching? Yeah, the Eagles were really that. Ten in the first. Yeah, the first half. What are you oh, talking about, Jalen, bro? They, I ain't gonna hold that for you. We mm-hmm. you watched the game. They they controlled the whole fucking first half in time of possession. Mm-hmm. They still went up, up ten, and they only went up ten because homeboy bunked the field goal and the fumble. Bro, it never I'm felt saying, like they was in command of the let game. Let me tell you exactly. Let me let me let me let me let me let me rephrase what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this. In that first half, when the Eagles looked dominant, mm-hmm. the Chiefs was only down a score. And only had the ball eight minutes so, of the whole so first half. So when you look up at halftime and you see the score, knowing the Eagles just played that half. And the Chiefs about to get the ball. And and you heard them announce, what they, oh, halftime's going to be 28 minutes. I bet it is. I bet it's going to be 45 minutes now that Pat Mahomes <laughs> is hurt back there. You see, you seen this coming from a mile away. I didn't see that coming from a mile away. No, I didn't. Like, I, I watched, I just saw when, 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 when Jalen Hurts dropped the, the fumble, and they picked it up and ran it in. That gave them an extra score because they couldn't get shit going. Yeah, that right there changed, shifted the momentum. Even bunking the field goal, that shifted the momentum. And they took that and just they, that whole second half. It was just foot to gas see, after that. See, I, I different. I, I think that you can't say they can't get shit going. They not on the field. But they was only on. That's see, that's a they misconception not on the field of time at all. Possession. They they was on the field. They was going. The only reason why they no, the, Eagles, the Eagles wasn't, wasn't really on the on field, field was because he fumbled. Half. So he he fumbled with that. So they gave them a touchdown. So cool. it was like they got points without being on the field. But you could see when they scored that defensive touchdown, they cut the Patty and and, and Kelsey. You could tell they she was changed. like, "Why oh, defense got us a yeah, touch? Yeah, now we going mm-hmm. out there. They did their job. Mm-hmm. But that, that's another thing too. Like they was up ten. They D line, that D line, shout out to the Chiefs O line, they was handling them that, that yeah. Eagles D line. That Eagles D line is one of the best of all time, most sacks in, 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 in league history, bro. Mm-hmm. I think that's deceptive. I don't want to hear that no more, neither. I, I How? think it's deceptive. I don't want to hear you, you just watched Hassan record, knock the bull, Purdy, tear his shit all up. No, Purdy started Purdy. the season as a fourth string quarterback. He's a fourth string quarterback. He broke my man's elbow, so that means just because you're the fourth string. I'm not saying I'm that. Saying I that came they, in here and said that I Purdy. think y'all line is better than theirs. That's, I said that. That's Purdy. You did that to Purdy. Who else did they do it to? In this in this run, who did they beat before that? Are you talking about QBs? Yeah, they had a buy. They had a buy. Yeah, I beat you. Well, man, Daniel beat Jones. You like Daniel Jones, right? Yeah, they beat us, Daniel Jones. Mm-hmm. Daniel Jones and Purdy, and they had the extra game, the benefit of the extra game, them and you this season, right? So I don't want to hear that they broke the record for because when it mattered. And it was somebody back there that could put the ball <laughs> with you. You funny. That's hate. That's crazy. You know that? <laughs> y'all got to you. Y'all gotta keep up with my hate. I'm throwing. Yeah, I'm about to say that's a little vicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But everybody did. Hate. It's an extra game. But I just don't want to hear that stat from them no more because they didn't do it when it was right, time okay, to do it. This is what the thing about the extra game. Okay, regardless, you had an extra game. But even if they didn't, then all right, maybe you finished second most all time. That's still extremely dominant. Yeah, but yeah. be dominant against the guy that's dominant. Don't just be dominant against Purdy, yeah. Daniel Jones, Kirk Cousins, Dak. Yeah. Be dominant when that dude is standing back there. So everybody now, in the world knew that that dude back there was Hemothy. True. We yeah. all knew it. True. This is the time for you to show up. You can only play who you can play. And I said so. it. I said it last part. I said I got the Eagles winning, but if Pat is who we think he is, he's going to will the team to a victory. And that's what it looked like. And that's exactly and that's what it looked fam. like. I can't agree. And with that, that how y'all feel about the he uh, didn't will him to victory. The whole thing called no, he did. But I just feel like oh. I mean he he they had a I feel like their game that was a great game that was a great defensive battle. Their defense didn't show up like they wanted, but that don't discredit who they was going into that game though, bro. And what they and all that shit I'm did. Not trying to- I saw a crazy ass stat on IG. It was the most hating shit I ever seen in my whole life. They basically broke down every Eagles, every Eagles win. win I saw it, it was on some oh you you beat the you, the Bears it. the worst team in the league. I'm like bro, what hating motherfucker set and made they <laughs> did Photoshop or whatever the hell the app is that you got to do this? Like bro, come on man. Now now the Eagles was 16 and one. Now all of a sudden they ain't shit now. Right. Well, listen before the Super Bowl came on, uh, is that Debo? Is that Debo that the yeah. clips? Uh, yeah. The clips start going around the Debo saying Bradbury is trash. Bradbury, former Giant. I do not think he's trash, just so we're clear. But it was interesting to hear another dominant football player's view on this dominant defense. Yeah. And, and sure enough, a couple of hours later, holding call on, you guessed it, Bradbury. 
That's that's deeper than that. But that's the San Fran being mad because they went out. So they was but out. They should AZ, be mad. But they should throwing be all kind of shit. The kicker hating on. But they Jay. should like, be mad. On. Why? <laughs> if there's any team that should be mad, they should be mad. What they mad for? Y'all lost. The world should feel that way. The locker room don't feel like they lost. They feel like they didn't even get a shot at the game. Why though? Because they're all of their quarterbacks left. But they knocked the quarterback out. It'd be That's different true. if he rolled his ankle walking off That's the street, walking down That's the street. True. They knocked him out and then knocked the other boys. That's out. great. All of them that, I agree that, with that. So it's like it'd be he, he, he ain't slip and bump his head. I mean, they knocked him out. What you gonna do? You can't do anything if all of the quarterbacks on your roster before the game get knocked out. But if that happens in That's quarter true. one, I don't blame the players for feeling like, damn, we should have got a shot to play our game. Then y'all should have protected them. Y'all should have protected this nigga better. And you should have signed another backup at some point. Nah, I'm with the hate. I'm with the hate. Nah, you should have protected. I'm, I'm with the hate. Christian McCaffrey all weekend. I'm not rooting for none of these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want them both to lose. I like that. He said I want them both to lose. But that's why I, I see that. I like that from the Niners. That's why you got to deal with the Niners too. when you see them. Yeah. They don't give a fuck about you. But anyway, let's talk about teams that was there. I asked y'all what y'all thought about that uh, holding call at the end. I wasn't mad at it, honestly. He held him. He held him twice. He held him twice. He didn't just hold him once. He held, he held him twice. Him. He held right. him out the break, he held and he held him on the route. And if you see the pass, Mahomes let the ball go before he even got into his route. Listen, in, the AFC, shit, in right? the AFC championship game, I said I was disappointed that they called, They ended the game on a uh, somewhat ticky-tacky, um, roughing, no, uh, unnecessary roughness unnecessary call, roughness. and yeah. everyone killed me. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm going to keep that energy. I, I was mad at it, but I can't be mad at it. He held him. That's how I felt. Yeah. Like, I was mad at it at first. I'm just like, come on, I don't want to see the Super Bowl decided off of that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, hey, you did it twice. And you shouldn't let the game be that close to where a call could matter. While we're on this, did you think the Goddard uh, catch was a catch? I did. The Goddard catch? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a hell of a throw, too. Hell, hell of a throw. Hell of a, hell of yeah. a throw, hell, hell of a catch. Throw. Sometimes I be on some shit like, man, fuck it, give it to him. Like, I ain't going to hold That's a tough-ass play. Like, just the fact that a motherfucker bore that bitch down. And what about the um, the second fumble that was not a fumble? That was a fumble though, because because I, I feel that like but I feel like we get into we getting like it's like we finally figured it I out. Think that was a fumble. Now we back where he caught the ball, and made a two move. Foot, he went fully secure. He didn't make two steps. Turned made, around. He made a football move. He moved. He was moving the ball. Bull struck him. He dropped the ball. That was a fumble. That's Scooby a fumble score six. Me. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like about when he just turned around. Yeah. Yes. Nah, but it is deeper than that. It's deeper than that. Now they said, yo, he need three steps. Yeah, I'm like, what's this? What the hell is this? He didn't have a chance to make a move. He didn't take one step. He turned. Look. He a football move. Two feet down, he and like as this. he turned, he got hit. He but, went to move the ball to his opposite hand. That's a football move. No, not by their book. Well, I think not it was already book. going too far yeah. the one way. They were just trying to keep it, you know what I mean? But, I think I, so, I too. agree with that. Nah, that, that, <laughs> hold, that. that holding call that is only crazy because they scored on the exact same play twice with the little fake motion. That fake motion. And it was wide open. And then they got the holding call on running that same, basically, yeah. situation. So it was just kind of like... Yeah, it's a tough, but at some point you just can't be in that position. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's corny, but they they, they have opportunities all over the field. You can't put it on that And one I'm not point. sure that the game would have ended any different, honestly. They would have kicked a field goal, and there would have been a little bit more time. Maybe the Eagles can push, but... Nah, I it, don't know, bro. I would have loved to see Jalen with that opportunity, there, bro. A minute left, one time out. Go get yeah. a touchdown to go win the game. I don't know if that ends that, 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 That's a legacy job. I would have liked to see it, too, but I, I don't know if that see the, see the chance. See, give, him, give him a chance. Don't. I'm glad he didn't get the chance. Go home, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be back. Philly's so sad right oh, now, bro. I, I felt so one. bad, bro. Yeah. I felt so bad, bro. I'm, bro, I wake up the day of the game, bro. Motherfuckers is outside moving. Liquor store pack 11 a.m. I'm sure. dying. Y'all motherfuckers don't even go to early church? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, I walked my dog yesterday, bro. That shit, that shit feel like Indianapolis. It was, ghost it was nobody outside. Mm. I'm like, damn, where everybody, everybody sad? They everybody... It's like a funeral today. Uh, had a great weekend. season and played a great game, though. Yeah. I don't think there's any shame to be had, but I mean, I can't say that. I'd be mad if it was my team. Yeah, I'd be, be, be tight if it I'd was my hot. team. But you know, Dog, you lost to Patrick Mahomes. I was in a, still in a, in a, in a, a His, field goal. You know, after that game was over, Patrick Mahomes' own biological dad hugged him and said, I've never seen anything like you. You <laughs> know what else he said? You are different. Know what else he said when he was walking through the tunnel? Oh, mm -hmm. smoking on them uh, Philly blunts. <laughs> smoking on them Philly blunts. His dad funny as hell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> His dad be 
be popping this shit. No, they <laughs> our age. I like all the black dads. Yeah, in they yeah. our don't age. Don't bro. Yeah. Fam, they our age. Yeah. So imagine if we had a multi-millionaire son that was that dude. I'm, half, I'm, a B, I'm way, half a B. On the way to being the best quarterback of all time, potentially. Yeah. Yeah, he on his way. Bro. He's on yeah, his yeah, way. Shit, tell shit me talk would be different. They couldn't tell me shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Before I start asking y'all questions like where do y'all rank Pat Mahomes all time before I get into any of that. I'm here to kick Joe Montana back into. Oh, I am. I, I did it on Sunday too. I never was. I did it on Sunday. Joe Montana. Joe Montana. Yeah, yeah, never was a fan. Yeah, yeah. What? I'm sorry. Ever. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Not. Joe was the man. Oh, look, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Which, Dog, I, which I ain't buying. I don't yeah, want to come I'm, in and hate on I Philly. I told niggas all season long, I, in my opinion, even though the record speaks for itself, bro, I thought they was overrated. What was overrated about them and what you felt like it was exposed, though? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. No, they, the they was good. Too. They was good. I think that a bunch of the games that Philly won, they could have lost. But they the won. That's what but they they won them. Yeah. I can't knock it. I'm not... I'm just saying, to me, they didn't seem like the dominant. Like when, just the Rams East was hate. dominant. That's the, NFC East. The Rams hate. was dominant. I would say this Philly team, in my opinion, was better than that Rams team. Not your mom. Not that I Rams think so. I, 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 th I think they was better. The than Rams, that Rams team from last year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think. Top, I think. Top to bottom, especially because we talking talent wise, they just lost. They played a great game. They, they put up thirty five points. Game. They just lost because they other team had the best player on the planet. That's just how that go. No. And they, and no. 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 I'm not gonna let you do that. You don't think so? I, no. I got a question for you first, but I want to go back. Who's second that best, Kelsey? Because they couldn't stop him neither. Can you tell me? Can you tell me before you get to arguing with him? <laughs> do you know? Do you know anything about what really happened between the Giants and and Tony? And who Tony? Tony who? Tony. Uh, Tony. Uh, what is it? The wide receiver from Cor Florida. He. They said. Oh, he, Cor 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 Varius. Cor Varius. Yeah. They said he mouthy. Uh, I mean, yeah, but. I mean, I don't know nothing about it. It's just me. I don't know him. I this just me speaking outside, looking in, just understanding how shit go. He probably came in popping this shit. Young boy, first said. rounder. Mm. I think he went to Florida, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, mm. I, I know a couple of Florida. They Florida. They they like to get their shit off. You know what I'm saying? He probably came in, yeah. wasn't the most humble. Mm. But when you when because but you want that from a young receiver. That's what the thing that I hate that everybody always say like. You want the go get a receiver that come in saying I'm that nigga I'm better than everybody that's like you said, want somebody I, like I that. would want that that's yeah you said. want especially if he could back it up yeah but then when they don't back it up but he keep backing it up no he backed it up <laughs> well in what, Kansas City but not in New York though yes he did they said what happened when he came in was he was like yo I'm better than all these niggas y'all giving all these niggas the money I can't get the ball so they let him get run that game when he had 200 yards against Dallas. The game in Texas, I was at that game. He had like 200 and something yards on us, mad catches. He kicked our ass. Then he started doing good, he got hurt. But they said his mouth is crazy. They said his mouth is crazy. They, they gave him away for nothing. Back to that statement you said, yeah, for absolutely Gave him nothing. away for nothing. Back to the statement you said about Philly being better from top to bottom. That punt, that punt, that punt, the muff punt to Tony. Maybe they just aren't used to being out there or having to having to have a game rely on a punt. But that couldn't have been any more botched. And I think it's because they're so stacked. You're talking about the return, the return that Tony had? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, yeah, that was just that was just y'all falling asleep at the wheel. And that not, and not, not no, that was you needing your guy. Listen, I've been watching Pat McAfee since that game went off. <laughs> he the only one that really care about the kicking shit. Facts. Like, that shit is important to him. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he broke that shit down. And what he said was, the people, he highlighted the people that's supposed to know where the ball is going. Yeah. From the kicker. Yeah. Which is the gunner. The and, gunners and the PP. Mm -hmm. And the all of them was going one way, thinking the kick was going there. And, and he kicked it the wrong way. That shit went short. Right all the way over there. He said the kicker looked up at it like, how the fuck did that even do that? Like mm -hmm. it was oh, went what? a little windy in there that day. The field, remember they complaining about yeah, the, the field. field slippery as hell. So you looking at your punter in that situation and saying, yo, this is where we need the ball to go and you uh, can't and you can't get it there. And that's not think the play that broke the game. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. It was. It was a big play. I thought he was gonna kick up though. I thought he was going to kick up. I text Parks before the game even mm -hmm. started. I said, yo, to me, the keys of the game are Tony and Pacheco for uh, Kansas City, Kansas City and Goddard for the Eagles. But I they, thought Goddard but was going to kick but up. But the problem is, if you were right about that, the Eagles may have won. They kicked up. Sky Moore kicked up. Mm -hmm. Hardman, Juju kicked up. Uh, all of the people kicked up. Everybody. Mm -hmm. So what does that say? Patty. Good coaching. 
Yeah, great coaching. Great I coaching. actually think that was the biggest difference great. in the whole I think game. so too. Better than good. Coaching, right? Great yeah, coaching. Yeah, I just felt like, like, I think you look at the Eagles, you got Sirianni, he's a great young coach. They got, shout out to Steichman, obviously, uh, just signed, signed with the Colts. And then JG, um, great defense coordinator. He about to go to Arizona. So you got three great, you know, head coach, office coordinator, and D coordinator. Great young superstars in coaching world, right? But then on the on the Chiefs side, you got Andy Reid, who, oh, in my opinion, is a top five head coach top of all five. time. Absolutely, period. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying his run with Philly, his run with KC. Now mm-hmm. he's stamped, especially this ring, this run he got going on with Patty and Kelsey mm-hmm. and them. He's looking like he gonna be, you know, what I'm saying doing his thing. You know, even though we popping back this year, but that's another convo. But. Mm-hmm. Uh, we about to pop Wait, back this year, it? too. Nothing. We had a, See, we're going to get into that later. He ain't say nothing. The cones? Y'all hating. Don't, do don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Not, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm back popping my shit. It's the new season. But <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a new season. New but look, hey, everybody, hey, everybody, hey, zero, everybody zero, zero. Look, you got Reed. You got Spagnolo, who you know. And being, I know. He didn't seen back. he didn't seen monsters before. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He didn't went against that that Randy and, and Tom. So it's not too much he going to see that's going to scare him. Mm-hmm. And then you got Bienemy, who's over there, has been stepping for a long time. And I just felt like they were more veteran in that situation and were better, like, well-equipped to, like, adjust because they just kind of went against them more. I feel like when you watch the game, like, the Eagles dominated so much in the first half. The, the Chiefs went in the halftime knowing they was going to get that extended time and were just like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. We're going to counter. We're going to have – we got shit for all of that. We watching their motions. I, I saw a little video of how – uh, being in me and uh, Andy Reid was just setting them up. The first play, they didn't even try to go in the end zone. Uh-huh. They just set it up like, oh, that's how they going to just boom, boom. Oh, it's open. Oh, Next okay. play, bang, bang. Hit the, and, that, and that's a tough-ass motion. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a tough-ass on the read, but... And it's crazy because I ran that defense uh, when JG uh, he installed that when he was in Indianapolis. So mm. I know I know the reads I'm watching. I'm seeing the checks, but that was just a good ass play. So I just felt like their twice. coaching was just more veteran on the same. And then the third play with the with the holding with the penalty hold. was the same play. So it was Whoa. just like. Mm. Andy Reid and Bianami figured something out about the Eagles' defense, a little tweak in the armor, and they took advantage of it in the worst time. So it was just like, I felt like coaching actually made the biggest difference. And it was really just, like I felt before, it was because they had been in that situation before. They understood what it took. Mm. Them lights? The lights looked a little too bright for the some lights, of the Eagles. Yo. They it's looked the a little too bright for some of the Eagles. Y'all felt like they looked nervous at the beginning? No. No. I think, I think, I think, I think when the game got thick. Yeah. I, I, again, yeah. going down... Being dominant in the first half, y'all only up 10, and Kansas City is getting the ball. When we come out, Kansas City getting the ball. Nigga, 10 points for them is a you minute. Ever, you ever was fighting somebody, and you hit them, that shit, and it don't really do what you thought it was going to do? Or you fucking a girl and you try to hit her with your little strong yeah, dick? No, no, yeah, yeah, and it, yeah, no it ain't really hit her. She on, she on. Yeah, yeah that shit hurt the she don't get you that. You ate that shit. Now you, now yeah, you ready to get out. Do the deep breath shit, bitch. <laughs> no, 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 grab, grab the pillow. Take the side. Yeah, scratch my back. No, I'm this that shit. No, this that regular. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this that mid. <laughs> Listen, that's what I think happened. Once they, once they knocked, got their hands on him, felt him to see if he real, turned him over, and he went down grimacing, face ah uh, ah, uh, nigga. After Rihanna was done. That nigga walked out. <laughs> Yellow dust. And they was looking like, nah. Yeah. He, he ran out. run into the he field. Ran. Yeah. Uh-huh. We touched him. Uh-huh. From that point on, uh-huh. yeah, the and mic gotta, was a little bright. And you got to remember, it was, I think it was up until the third quarter, they haven't been behind all postseason. Bruh. So that's new to them. When a nigga so hit now, hard too. Yeah. That was now new. what are you going to oh, do? Oh shit, we 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 actually are losing. Bro. I can't I can't let y'all do that though. Jalen stood tall though, bro. He I can't did. let y'all. Yeah, he was he, 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 he stood one. tall. Devontae stood tall Devante too, bro. Kicked Devontae ass. stood tall too. And AJ too, bro. We ain't, I I can't let y'all do that, bro. Two nah. catches, nah. For the tug, two catches. I would. And AJ the tug that don't count in the second half. A little two bit. catches. Nah. nah. AJ was a little quiet. Two there. catches. Goddard yeah. wasn't. He too big to be as quiet. Goddard wasn't. Goddard was y'all watching the same game? Goddard was What game was y'all watching? Goddard was the one that was going crazy. He was going. Got it the whole up. time. How many catches he had? If it wasn't yeah. for Goddard, they wouldn't have been in there. I don't Man. remember how many catches. I wouldn't care how many, but the catches up. he did have, yeah, they yeah. 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 he was timely and And Jalen and Jalen stood tall. Man, I feel he like did. he, he, he silenced all that he shit. Did. Look, he was throwing one thing I said, like, but I don't think he fumbled. Even when when Jalen fumbled, they kept highlighting how he don't show like he don't get bothered. Nothing like he got up like. All right, I did that. That's but, my bad. But we're talking like, too much about Philly's offense, which I don't think was ever supposed to be their bread and butter this year. They calling card was always defense. 
Nah, defense. nah, they had the they, they had the, they they had the defense. They had the offense, yo. Yeah. Man, half of the offense. AJ Brown set a season record I, for the. Yeah, for I can't, the, I can't, I can't let you do that. I can't let you do that. I can't let you do that. All of that y'all saying is awesome. Before this season, niggas was calling him a game manager. They built that team around thinking that he was a game manager. Nobody in Philadelphia or anywhere else could have predicted that Jalen Hurts that we saw this year was showing up. So this is cool for y'all to say now. I'm with y'all now. But before the season started, none of this was, nobody was thinking like this. I like Jalen in college, so. Um, he really showed Both colleges. Yeah, both colleges. He showed up. Nah, he played ball. Again, he made plays. But still, you don't have Miles. I mean, uh, Miles. Slay, Bradbury, all of the dudes that, that boy got. Chauncey, you ain't see that boy come and punish yeah. him up from the middle of the field. I said, God, oh, yeah. that boy about to knock. Yeah, he sat him down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He going see, crazy. That, bro, he ain't want to run that like that, that, that though. That shit was going no, crazy. No, 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 but it, it wasn't. But about 10 minutes later, that same nigga is running with all the speed in the world. See, that's what I mean. They was putting their hands on them, but they just kept it. They wanted it more, yo, the Chiefs. The I Chiefs think, wanted it more. Yeah. They wanted it more. And the Chiefs heard all that shit everybody they was wanted saying it about more. them too. Y'all think that Pat, They heard that. They and, heard it. And Kelsey addressed it after yep, the game. Twice. Heard it. Y'all keep thinking that Pat Mahomes don't have ESPN, and he do. <laughs> all that. They lost Tyreek. They're not going to be the same. They just, They heard it. Can I ask a question? Shoot. Shoot. Forgive me if this is like, you know, ignorant or any way, in any way, but the Eagles lost a player um, due to some like allegations, right? Yeah, but he ain't playing. He, he, was, he wasn't back, significant. He wasn't, yeah, yeah, not at all. Okay, I just wondered if that like played a role in anything. Well, practice. I can't lie. When I was out AZ, um, when you talking to like any of the reporters, and when I was just like around like people around that was around the teams, they said that 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 Eagles team was just like super focused, like wasn't really going out, just kind of doing everything. It was right. I feel like they showed up ready to play, bro. They did. They did, they did show up ready to play. They showed up. The problem play. was so did, so did those Kansas guys. <laughs> so did Kansas. And they've done it before. So did Kansas City. And they've done it for the last five years. I think people was discredited in Kansas City. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Like, even all of the panelists, only one person picked um, KC. Everybody else picked the Eagles. And I was like, really? I heard Dan Orlowski make this point uh, yesterday, I think it was. He said that you can make the case that Kansas City was the worst team in every Super Bowl that they've been to. Hmm. Yeah. You can nah, make- it was better than that San Fran team, though. When Tyreek. No. Tyreek, Tyran. They, they lose Tyran that game. If Jimmy, if, if if he make that one throw, they lose that game. You said that about a couple of Jimmy games, though. Yeah, but they made it to that one, and he didn't make that one wide open throw to mm-hmm. my man. Wide open. You could probably make that throw. <laughs> Bro. They probably, they, the Chiefs probably beat the Bucks if they not injured. And then you're looking at Pat with three of them at 27 years old. Now you having in a five different years. Con- and now you're having a different conversation. In That's kind of crazy. In five, five years. years. But let's, yeah. I think That's the horrible. conversation is still being had. It is still being had. Yeah. But come on, let's talk about our halftime. Uh-oh. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Slow down. Let's take a break. I got to piss if y'all want the oh, truth. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You going to tell the truth? I got to take some, tell, a, tell a truth truth. piss. <laughs> a truth When I go in the break. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pee all the lie out. Yo, it's, it's, <laughs> tell the truth. Oh, whenever I'm around some cops, so I go in the precinct. Where's the bathroom at? I hit the bathroom first. <laughs> That's what I used to do when I used to give them your piss. <laughs> 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 this was a, this was a solid friend to have, boy. <laughs> All that like, don't smoke, don't drink, don't smoke, yeah. don't drink, don't pill, don't Molly, don't what? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, if you don't pee in this fucking <laughs> bottle, you bum ass nigga. All right, let's take a break. All right, we are back. We are back. We right? JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Rihanna was out there dolo by herself. I loved it. I don't need nobody. I loved it. We I'm don't hurt. need no hooks, no support, no none of y'all. Set was amazing. Floating joints. This, I like that. The set, the set that was shit fire. was fire. That was, the set was fire. That was beautiful. I love the set design. Mm-hmm. All that flying shit looked great. Mm-hmm. I like the set list. The outfits looked great. Mm-hmm. And the set list, I liked it too. Some of those songs, I was shocked made it. Like which one? All the lights. Like pull it up. <laughs> Nah, that should have been in there, I think. Mm, she that, started with that? No, no she, started she started with Bitch Better Have, have My Money, money. Yeah. which I one. thought was very appropriate. Yeah, me too. Yeah, because wow. I'm here to get this fucking money. Yeah, stop it. Uh, Even see, though see, for the it. halftime show, no All one right. gets paid right. for that. All right. Yeah, I know. All right. I know. All right. I know. All right. I like them. They just didn't slap. Some of them didn't slap. Like they... 
slap, I guess, in your car or here. Well, it's got to be a little bit. Uh, it's got. <laughs> you heard him. You know what I'm saying? Look how you <laughs> They probably slap here or in your car, but <laughs> park, park, parks make them shit sound it's, like it's. It's, it's got to be a little bit more PG, and her shit is kind of edgy. Her, the shit that we like anyway. Gotcha. That you you really took away my main point of my takeaway from her performance is most of the reason why I love Rihanna. Shout out to the Navy is her edge. Yeah, mm-hmm. is her edge. I can feel that edge. And everything Rihanna, songs, structure, arrangement, walk, walk outfit, attitude, the curse fuck at Donald the right, Trump. Curse at the right time. Yeah, you like I mean? she embodies that edgy shit. Mm. So if she's not doing that for me, like if she's pregnant and mouthed, then it's not going to hit the same. R- mega rich. Mm, I don't even think it was that. Been mega rich. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I don't think, think it was that. Yeah, I don't attribute that. Uh, she's been mega rich. Rihanna is very nonchalant. She just is. Mm -hmm. Her swag is on a hundred thousand. Like effortless. It's it's, it's effortless. She walks in the room like, didn't you know I was a savage? You're welcome. I'm here type thing. That's her attitude. And I think that she approached this show with like, I'm pregnant and I'm fucking here. So y'all are going to get exactly what I give you and you're going to fucking like it. My guy, Ace well, live I it up to his name, boy. Didn't have to like it, though. First of all, I love the fact that, you know, all, everybody was dressed in Fenty. You know, every course, you like, th- th- this was a this was a or huge. fashion over. No, this was Fenty. This was every. That's why she pulled out the compact. Hey. This was Fenty, 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 Fenty. Prior to that, <laughs> yeah. they launched a special line of Mitchell and Ness Fenty shit. Yes, solely for the Super Bowl. Her there was the search for um, Fenty went up by like eight hundred over eight hundred percent. Her streams were up by like exactly. It was massive. What I liked was the symbolism of the dancers because they were sperm you guys realize that right mm-hmm. okay. they said that but I didn't know I thought that was a, I thought that was a joke I thought that was like oh that's ASAP sperm yeah, so I didn't know it is it's all, we was being all immature. ASAP sperm was, was on was on the field and, <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> and she's like <laughs> and, and here she is you know like mother earth you know like a I guess she's I no, no, know. keep t- no, 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 no. What? Everybody mute up. Yeah. Continue to tell me about the symbolism of that. Okay, so that was ASAP sperm, basically all, and she's <laughs> the womb, and then you know that was that See, was that, that was the guest appearance. And, that was it. We and this thought, is what I also learned about women what was the during guest? this performance. <laughs> Her baby, to get the baby. Oh, uh, okay. She did say prior to that in one yeah, of the interviews yeah, that yeah, it'd be a guest with I, I, yeah. I'm gonna br- I might bring somebody a very with special me, guest, a very special guest with me, the most special guest of them Something all. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is what I learned about women. They'll eat that bullshit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my bad. No freeze. <laughs> yes, but I'm gonna say it different. Okay, there we go. I'm pro. <laughs> How women. Grade and critique and analyze Rihanna and her show is very different from men. And when I say men, I mean me. (laughs) Right? Like Rihanna came out before my living room noticed that she was pregnant. She wasn't moving around so much. And I looked up at the TV and I said, in an effort of transparency, is this bitch gonna move? Or <laughs> <laughs> well, she's gonna stand right there? <laughs> she's just standing there the whole time. And then the women in my living room were saying things like, Oh my God, that's symbolism. Oh my God, she doesn't even sweat. Look, her oh my God, her face is so the beatest I've ever can a face be beat, beat it better than that. <laughs> Let me just tell you what I was hearing. Oh my God! She looks amazing. Look, no, look no. how she stands there. <laughs> look, look, look at her. Oh my God! You got the birds drop. <laughs> but I can't play it because they weren't birds that were saying it in my living room. They might have been birdish. No, they wasn't we are birds. Not and, birdish. I was there. Been, no, you, you could be a bird. Zero. Nah, Absolutely it was. Not. They, it wasn't giving no, no, no bird, bird energy in my living. They was no birds. They was. It was. <laughs> no. Nah, it wasn't that. Actually, later on in my story, I'll tell you about something else I heard that happened in my house. <laughs> I don't know what that is. 
Yes. Because I was upstairs. I went upstairs for that. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway, Here, go back to, yeah. Oh, my God, her face, that makeup, her shoes. Oh, my God. Look at the dancers. You want to know why? The stage is flying. <laughs> oh, my God. Just me. I love this song. You hear this song? <laughs> Here's That's the, what they were. Here's the so thing. So we can't judge this the same. Y'all. D- here's the thing. Rihanna is almost like, she's almost like a Cinderella story for women. Okay? So that's why we, the, we don't judge her. <laughs> she's in a realm all by herself. That's it. We Ooh. were so excited to see her. And she will always deliver. We don't know what it's going to be that she's going to deliver. But she delivers, and she delivered a shock that was heard around the globe. She's pregnant again, and everybody started doing the math. Like, hold on one second here. Her son was born in May. and Who cares? Because everybody's trying to be like, when, when did she when? get pregnant again? Because there's supposed to be a she's time. She's fucking and, the nigga that f- proposed. Women. Her I, fiance. The I, nigga that she's in love t- with and been with. You got to just- give it a rest for a second after giving birth. That's what well, I'm saying is everybody was trying to do the math as to, to when. Stop this show. Hmm? Women. women are fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you just, I'm Rihanna Cinderella. No, I'm stuck on that. <laughs> yeah, she's what's Cinderella the, I can tell you, Al, but it won't work for that other one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that other one is. Continue. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. That's just how, like, women just really, really love Rihanna. They do. They yeah. just that's do. And I was, and that's where I thought you were going. But I really love Rihanna, too, though. Me, too. Me, too. Yeah. Yeah. I like me, too. But I'm Rihanna. able to recognize like when, let me offer a different perspective. Mm-hmm. And I, this is, I say this with all due respect. I can recognize, the effortless shit you talk about is a fact. Mm-hmm. That is a fact with mm-hmm. Rihanna. Mm-hmm. I can also recognize when somebody don't really give a fuck. Uh-huh. <laughs> And I'm just here. And Rihanna, for a little while now, ain't really gave the Navy, let me not speak for the Navy, but that Black Panther shit, everybody muted up. You think she phoned that in? I think she's been Dog. phoning a lot of shit in. Yes, she don't she give a fuck about music in. no more or anything music related. She phoned she in don't the care. Wakanda soundtrack shit that Tim's wrote, hottest pen in the game. She phoned that one in. Everybody muted up. We acted like we didn't hear it. We didn't see it. It's Rihanna. We love her. Mm. I did her to fucking... Oh, that's just a uh, Texas Chainsaw Max. <laughs> <laughs> you come here. Kill a couple of niggas. <laughs> going about his business. Uh, everybody muted up for the Black Panther shit. Mm-hmm. And I was saying, if she come out here, I dare her to come out here and do this Black Panther shit. <laughs> I, I will go to sleep. I'm not gonna but lie. She, I'm not gonna lie. But she wasn't I, gonna do that. I'm not a fan of the of the Black Panther song. I'm, I really was underwhelmed. You're absolutely right. I'll call a spade a spade. Women, yeah. Uh, what? Just when they like somebody, mm-hmm. yeah, they it. will mm-hmm. support. Mm-hmm. Look, listen. Blind, blindly. And Rihanna and is her. No, don't. So I don't want to say blind, blind but, but no, no, blind, but blind too. Blind. No, Rihanna's in my because you can still be him, her. Even though I hate those phrases, but you can deliver that. All right, they, them. But I'm just saying, you could be, you could deliver something that's lower than your standards that you've set, and because they love you, they're not going to admit that. True. This is my thing. Any other artist in the world, granted, Rihanna's not them. That's true. But any other artist in the world. Super Bowl, you performing? Hey, we start thinking you might even tease a new record at some point. Exactly. Okay. We start thinking you might have an album coming within the next year of this performance. You get up there and show us that you're pregnant. Okay. Which is great. And some new well, makeup. Which is great for the <laughs> women and the people that care about that. But if you're just a fan of the music, what it's, it's saying, what you. it's telling you is, oh shit, you're debuting your baby bump mm-hmm. at the Super Bowl. There is no music nowhere. We not working on nothing. We not thinking about nothing. We not trying to promote shit. It's over for that music. Okay, so yo. I have a question. And I'm tired of y'all artists. I know y'all can't say it. Right? Y'all can't say it. The bitches that want to cancel their OnlyFans, they don't announce that they're canceling it because some stupid niggas is going to keep paying while it ain't nothing popping. So y'all can't announce that. Because it slows business down. But if you got eyes and you looking, y'all niggas don't give a fuck about no music, man. Just say that shit. That shit is like pissing on niggas who care about music- musicianship. She just graduated from that. She, she don't care grad- about no music. But the fans though. won't let her go. 
that's what it is. She Rihanna has shown y'all that I've been off music. I'm not thinking about music. I am a global brand. It, look, it looks like fuck it bigger music, than that. I'm not like obligated it. to give y'all shit. Right. But the fans I'm gonna themselves I'm gonna put will not let it go. I want. No, okay. or never. Okay, yeah. so here's here's what I want. Okay, Rihanna's I've, done enough to be a legacy act to to, to yes. me. And like, if and she I retired mean, and, and never did anything else, indeed. I would be perfectly fine with it. True. Anti is still anti. Her performance, Correct. her performance proved that though. That set list, it was, it still slaps that could have went on that joint. Like Easy. she proved True. that that her status, her set list, her greatness is unquestioned. Correct. But I 110 percent agree that like, and I, but also too, I feel like once you see that she's pregnant, it's like. You can't say nothing. You can't it, say you nothing. Can't it say it nothing. changes you your can't. lens of how you can even judge the performance. It's like, different. Yes. You looking at it, you can't even. And, and, and everybody's like, "Don't compare, bro." It's at a foot sporting event. Like it's at a sporting event. nothing but competition <laughs> going on. I'm yeah. pregnant. So pregnant. you can't even help it. Yes. Like, we're talking about this. They absolutely crushed from a demographic standpoint. Like if the football game is for the men and the halftime is for the women, oh, five, they went five extra million hard. more like, people tuned in to the halftime show than were watching the game. That's the power of Rihanna. But hold on one second. Yeah. If there was a reason why I brought up time in terms of her preg her getting pregnant, because when she agreed to do the halftime show, that was way back in September. She wasn't pregnant then. I'm wondering if how do you know? How do you know that? Because you can look at her belly and kind of tell. figure out like how far along she is. Far like far it's kind is. of a woman That's thing. True. We you that's know. not a woman thing. So. Okay, well, <laughs> may, whatever it is. My whole thing is, I'm just wondering if the pregnancy happened after she agreed to do it, and then that altered what she was going to I, do. I, I'm not a woman, but I could not disagree more with what Melissa is saying. What, I, did I, she? I had, so. The girl did not have to be pregnant in September. I'm not sitting here doing the math right now, but if my husband is constantly dumping in this thing and we've agreed that we want to have another kid, then I know a, a, baby, a baby is coming at some point. And I just had one, so I'm going to get pregnant. I'm, I'm yeah. hey, hey, this spring, yeah. I can't go to brunch with my girls. A baby's coming. I don't have to be pregnant to know that. I don't know. if Was it September when she um, agreed to? Yes. I think it was August, if I'm not mistaken. When the announcement came out, oh, we, well, she wasn't we, pregnant. I think we said something before. I don't it was think. Like, was it, she I don't think pregnant. it was I August. That early. Do you think you think she should have switched it, knowing that she if she got pregnant, you think she? Hey, somebody back, Google when I'm they checking, first I'm announced right that. Because I, I don't think it was August or was that, September. I didn't think it was that early either. It wasn't. I don't think it was that early. It was. We talked about it. I, I remember. It, when I, it, I believe it was August, but I'm, I'm trying to find the exact date. Because I think Black Panther was about to drop. It was right there. I'm with you. September September 25th. Was when it was um, announced. Yeah, that's like she the confirmed. first week of the season. Gotcha. Yeah, she so confirmed. they did it like week so one. Yeah. So yeah, I'm wrong. Listen, pregnant performer is gospel at the Apollo. Yo, you have Zaya is absolutely right. We we can't say nothing about it, even if there was something to say about. And it. And I hate to tell you, to be pregnant as far along as she was, she still moved around. She breath control, all of that shit. I don't think it was bad. I think it, it wasn't bad. No, hey, wasn't be bad. clear. No, no, no. It wasn't I bad. really thoroughly yeah, enjoyed it. Bad. And she sounded all right. Well, yeah. no, I've seen performances where she don't sound the greatest. I'm, she sounded right, good to me. Yeah. Well, that, those performances. Because I ain't saying. We, we right. The girl, yeah, the girl yeah. is okay. a, a black billionaire alone up there. No help, no no features. Nothing. This is my verse. The ground. I, I live my raps. All of the people that was watching her practice, they kept saying, yo, she's really not scared. All right, Joe. <laughs> she's up there, and she ain't flinch. And when I hear that, that reminds me of the Rihanna yes. I know. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the Rihanna watching, that I know. I was watching that with my girl, and I'm like, I'm that looking at the, the when they when they raised it back up, that shit was doing a little bit of this. I was like, hey, yo, nah, nah, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Now, I did. It have been <laughs> shit all over that stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be lying if I said that I never thought of Kanye. I've, Did you think she was going to bring him out? No, no that's, that's foolish. You mean as a as a as just, foolish? As just a, a I'm just Super talking Bowl. about his likeness. His likeness. Oh yeah, was all his influence. Because, it was all yeah, over. yeah. Because I, I I will tell you, the first it. time I saw Kanye on that floating thing in the sky, like the entertainers know him to be big on set design. Mm -hmm. I thought that was some of the flyest shit I ever saw. Mm -hmm. The clothing. Mm -hmm. the, the, all red, the, the clothing. He did, that he did yeah. the all the red, the white bubble shit. He did all jacket. Yeah. That shit with him standing at the piano at the grand. Dun, yeah, dun, the whole away. red outfit yeah. with the come on man and but she did a couple Kanye like more than a couple homage in there but yeah. more than a she, couple that he produced on and mm -hmm. she, yeah. uh -huh. all of the lights this was this was a nod like my nigga I still see uh, you Fuck we that. run this town I see you mm -hmm. shine bright like a diamond there was quite a few mm -hmm. Kanye records in there we never gonna get that even that's hove is that nigga y'all I ain't gonna lie to you 
<laughs> that's the other thought that I had during the whole was that dude. Like, to have Rihanna, Kanye, listen, I know that there's the Wayne, Drake, uh, Nikki thing, but that whole yay Rihanna thing, man. That's just oh, powerful. and it's Beyonce on the side? Yeah, right. That's a book. Yeah. That's a sub? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you got yeah, Beyonce that's... coming off the bench, my nigga, you can't, you unstoppable. Yeah, Hove yeah. is that, Hove, Hove is really him, man. Uh, man. The performance was great. Every, it really was great. Well, let me, let me ask y'all this. How did y'all feel about her performance great. compared to other halftime performances y'all have seen, though? All of them will, will uh, fail in comparison to Prince. We put Prince on right after the game. And they fuck, all every, the whole room was just like, oh yeah, yeah. Mind. What are we I, I damn near watch Prince on YouTube every other year too. Yeah. yeah, like that's the one we went through all of them. Actually, I got it. Go I, I went through a few too. Hold up, that Michael Jackson one. I hate to be the guy. Did y'all watch it recently? I gotta go watch yeah, it because yeah, they've been yeah, tearing your ass yeah. up online. I watch they it. like, yo, I gotta go see it. I watched it recently. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go, go see it. Tearing me up? Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe we have different algorithms. His name's not Mike. <laughs> well, no, you go watch it. I gotta go they've been it. clowning the shit out of that. But that was that was before. I know, but if you, when you watch it now, yeah, yeah, yeah. it looks like yeah. Coleco Vision. Yeah, no doubt. But that was before, yeah, before the Super Bowl was yeah. what but it is now. The halftime. That's why, but that's why, remember when you said you don't even remember Mike? Because it was back then. It was the 90s sometimes. But Prince. Yo, it started raining when the crowd does, does the chant. Yeah, that was you the most. Yeah, you can't play that. Fam. You can't play that. Prince is the one. Yo, I like Bruno Mars uh, and Beyonce Bruno too. Bobby. I was fired too. Yeah. Bruno I like Bruno Mars and Beyonce too. I do remember the Bruce Springsteen one. And that was good too. Yeah. That was good too. The Aerosmith one was dope too. Oh, I really like the Aerosmith, the Aerosmith one, one too. Was dope. I don't remember you two. I don't remember that Me one. I don't remember that I don't one. Remember. I, like, like, I like last year, Joe. Yeah, I love last year. Was last year. Simon, you ain't like I loved it. it. Oh yeah, that was dope. It was I dope. loved it. But when you compare, like, look at the, what the set design looked like this year compared to last year's. I love this year's better. This, yeah, I love, this was about, this year's the weekend. Was... Y'all weekend? Y'all like the weekend, John? Loved no, it. Loved I didn't it. like that one that much. I mean, I'm a huge, I'm a huge weekend fan Same. though. So just watching him do it, and I just, I felt like that's, I, I guess, why I, I, I felt shorted. I would say because I would, I would, I don't think nobody gonna say Rihanna's performance was bad, but it's like when you see her pregnant. And then you understand that, like, all right, like, you know, you watch. She ain't some gonna of these be other, doing black. Yeah, she's not gonna be doing this, and it's just like the, <clears> you <throat> think of the Super Bowl is that's the biggest stage that basically you ever going to get as a performer. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. then, yeah. if you get that, it's like this: you gonna get a limited budget. You could do whatever you want, and it's just like for people who haven't seen Rihanna, we all miss Riri. So it's like you couldn't wait to see her. You finally see her. You getting 15 minutes of her uninterrupted, and not that. She's like, it's just like now you only you get in the see, pregnant I, version of it. You, it what you're saying is correct mm -hmm. and politically correct. So let me offer some pushback. I am not happy to see her if I see a half ass Rihanna. Yeah. When she popped out, when they made that Black Panther Wakanda single record is coming announcement, mm -hmm. I was hyped like everybody else. When the record came, I said, I see what time it is. I see what's going on now. And if you're gonna do that to me, it's like it's like blue balls, part in the reference, but <laughs> Mm -hmm. If you know that, if you know the leverage you have, and you kind of dangle it, and produce a baby announcement and that Black Panther record, let me ask you: Do you think that's her dangling it, or the powers that be and the marketing people dangling it? No, well, I'm not blaming right. her because I don't know who it is. She could have done Hove a solid for all I True. know. Mm. Like she could have been, she turned it down she a few years ago. Yeah, I do think she turned it down a few years ago. I do think we, we talked about it when they announced it. She came don't. Up. This is all because I wasn't rolling with it then. She could have been doing somebody a, a favor. So I am no way blaming. I definitely think this was a solid. or or making Rihanna accountable for this. And it, and if I'm doing a solid, I could understand. I'm not gonna say half-assing it, but I do. I, I do kind of understand. Pregnant, I'm yeah, pregnant, that's it. That's it. and I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not overexerting myself for this. She's very pregnant. In my opinion, the announcement was made before she was pregnant, and everybody flipped the fuck out when they heard Rihanna was doing the halftime show. How was it? How were they gonna walk that back if she said, "Yo, I'm pregnant now"? They, the, I still believe that she did not know she was going to be pregnant when the halftime show happened and she had something else planned. And Melissa, this is not the 80s. Mm. Beyonce performed at Coachella pregnant. Mm -hmm. We've seen Serena damn near win a fucking 
She no, was going for Beyonce, some shit. She, won. she was going for like the, the crown, the triple, four crown, people, yeah, the triple yeah, crown. Yeah, yeah. But, Beyonce, that, Beyonce, Pregnant, but yeah. Beyonce and Rihanna cannot be compared to one another when it comes to performances. I'm not they comparing. Are. I'm just saying that today women are not seeing pregnancy as something that is going to put them on the sideline for months and months at a time. No, seen, and I don't. seen Cardi they, do. What, what, uh, one of them award shows, she was getting... Yeah, women are making women plans going out with there their babies. Just, I and, and I understand that, but that's why I said originally she has always kind of had this very nonchalant kind of approach. She's never like, you know, busting it wide open and doing all kinds of crazy shit during her performances when she's not pregnant. Like, that's not her. She, Rihanna There's is, a lot more... There's a lot more sass. revealing outfits more than yeah, sass and true. edge during her performances. Yes. Come on, Melissa yeah, Ford. I, I'm, not, I'm not disputing that. That was I'm, a very I'm pregnant look. That you she can't had hit the ice spice when you're pregnant. Fam, that's, that's and crazy. it's 15 minutes. <laughs> we <laughs> forgetting it's 15 minutes. Yo, y'all football niggas be looking at ice spice? <laughs> Me, me personally, no. But no, yeah, but your counterpart <laughs> friends, your peers in the league. I'm pretty not, sure some of the niggas somebody, with 17 somebody, sacks. I might probably try to uh, catch outside. Yo, if it's one of you dudes out there with 15 sacks looking at Ice Spice, yo. You already That's a bad job? Bad as in what? No, well, let, me, young, let, me, let me rephrase that's like, it. That's like would be my daughter. That's like my I'm daughter saying, days, no, I yeah, Ice Spice, yeah. Huh? But, that, but y'all niggas all, could do all that shit. All the new young stuff, you know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. They try to catch him outside of traffic. <laughs> catch him in traffic. That's all that is. Still at, you know what I mean? <laughs> catch him outside of traffic. That's a good one. Yo, shout out to the Navy. Shout out to Rihanna. Shout out to uh, everybody that threw the event. Shout out to the teams. Everybody. It just looked like a really good time it was a out great there in Arizona, Sunday. man. Mm-hmm. It was a great Sunday. But day. even the events leading up to we didn't hear no fuck shit. Uh-uh. Word. Mm-hmm. We didn't hear no shooting over here. Mm-hmm. You know, fight like, over here. Drunk driving. It looked like a shit. whole lot of money was there, yo. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, it was a whole lot of money in that Dog, we looked up and yeah. they, they were showing us who, 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 who it was. Elon Musk and uh and, and Rupert Bezos. And, 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 and Murdoch. Ru- Rupert Murdoch. Oh, Rupert, Rupert Murdoch. Sitting together. Dog. Like, come on. What, is, yeah. what else is telling? There's some security in here, fam. <laughs> hey, Say no, what you want ain't about. No me. bullshit going on in here. Say what you want about Rupert, because there's a lot to say about him. But man, to do that deal, to want to come up with a whole nother main Network, channel in the bro, 80s you gotta have some balls. and pay what he paid yes. for it in the 80s yeah. mm-hmm. to host the Super Bowl. Of, what in the, what some an investment. Some niggas is visionaries, yo. Some niggas is just visionaries. I know, and it made me mad too. All of that, when I was a kid, all of that, you just won the Super Bowl. What are you about to do? <laughs> oh, I'm about to go with uh, my man own this shit over here. <laughs> we, we, got, we got a deal. That, that I got to check this We got a deal. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever wins, you know we got to go announce the Disney World, Disneyland. Disney World. <laughs> hey, the Chiefs won, and three hours later, Pat Mahomes is on the parade <laughs> at Disneyland. No ankle we'll brace no more. He outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? No ankle brace, no nothing. He out there. No boot. Oh, no, that, 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 what's the name? Ain't wear off yet. Yeah, he probably yeah. don't feel that shit till probably about Friday. Two days. They Two took days that later. shit before the Super Bowl. <laughs> that should be crazy. You take, you take that shit out. I didn't, I didn't been in the game. My show the fuck that they gave me some shit. I'm cool. Three days later, can't even lift my arm. I should be like this, bro. Damn. That should be how strong, many, bro. How many brothers does Pat Mahomes have? I know he's got the one who was in the back of the interview that was wild. <laughs> that's that's, yeah, that's yeah, what I want to talk about. I, I want to talk about that one. Said, what, you would you, what, would, what would you do if you're the baddest man on the planet and, and in your greatest, one of your greatest moments, here go your doofy, stupid ass <laughs> little brother <laughs> dancing around, <laughs> doing, a, doing a TikTok while I'm doing my fucking quarterback interview. The wild part is they love that little nigga, yo. Who's they? We got a Chief, established Chief, Chief, Kansas City. Yeah, in yeah, Kansas City, nah, in they, Kansas City they love him. It's like Yo, outside of when Kansas they first City. Announced, well, I mean, it's either that or oh, I was about to make a bad joke. But I'm saying they, <laughs> embrace, <laughs> not do it. they embraced him off the rip. Even when um, when Juju first announced that he was going there, because, you know, that was his thing, all the TikTok and shit. They was already like, yes, we get Juju and uh, I forget his name, the, the brother, but TikTok videos together. Like they were looking forward to uh, Chief Kingdom, whatever they call themselves. Yeah. They embraced that little kid. We old, yo. That's it. Yeah, you we keep old. trying to put me Body. with you and Mel. <laughs> <laughs> you breathing yeah. different, bro. I'm not with you Mel in this not too much on Mel today. What I'm I don't telling have, you I'm just is, saying, you're the same what thing. I'm telling you is, you look at that shit like it's stupid. The other generation look at it like it's fly, and that's what I'm saying. Dog, don't move my goalposts. I'm not talking about TikTok. <laughs> mm. I'm only talking about the antics. 
There's a time and a place, dog. I'm doing my interview. I'm up on the podium. <laughs> nah, they don't Damn, look at it like that. They like, I'm about to get my content own content over right everything. Right. Content First of all, he was in the that. back of the camera. They right there. That's he his was, time. He to was get recording his content like drafts. You can see he recorded. He messed up. Not nah, gotta run it again. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I ain't yeah. gotta run it again. I'm, yeah. But that's nah. What, that's that was crazy. No, it's not. Now, it's, tell the younger generation that that's crazy. <laughs> don't tell them we just old. Tell them it's nuts. I'm I don't get you, how you can I say that. I look at that shit as it's goofy. You look at it like it's goofy. They look at it like it's fly. You sitting here calling his little brother an asshole. They like, nah, he lit. You know what's funny? It's the optics of it. It's the optics. To That's us. What to us. No, not to us. Because if Patrick Mahomes get up there at the ESPYs and win an award, and that little nigga get up there with his TikTok on the SB stage, he, he somebody going to tackle him. He's going, he's going to, though. Like, that's what's going to happen. Oh, I, gonna, then I'll apologize to y'all. If that happens, I'll apologize to y'all. They're not going to say nothing. They're not going to say nothing. They're not going to go up there and get Yo, you can't wait to get them boots. Yo. You can't wait to get them boots. He want them boots. He want them boots. Because you just hit the block. I can't even. Hey, you do. If I see you on TikTok with them boots, though. Tell out. First of all, I'm not even a dancer. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know. <laughs> oh wait, you know what I wanted to ask you or any defensive player in the league? <laughs> when do y'all come up with what y'all gonna tell how y'all gonna celebrate as a defensive unit when Oh, that's how y'all know y'all tough. Like when y'all at like the Eagles, bro, when you watch all that shit, like when you at practice and you practicing celebrations, that just means y'all going y'all know y'all gonna y'all gonna score. Y'all, I'm, we about to we gonna score a bunch, so we when we score. We going to go do this. So that's how you know when you turn. But so y'all don't so got to practice, though. So you stand at don't practice. Got yeah, so like in practice, it'd be like, in mean, practice, like after some, after you make a play, you get your, you know what I'm saying, your shape. You got to practice, practice the sauce because when it's on TV, you can't fuck it up. So you saying y'all don't got none? Who don't got none? <laughs> <laughs> yo, here you go, bro. Here you go. Here you go. But even though, yo, 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 hold on. You, you lucky. You, you lucky. You lucky. You ain't, oh, I should have picked that shit in man. Dallas. I was going to fucking throw that Salvation Army. I was going to flip that shit over and pay the fine. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't care what it was. I was going to throw that shit down. Oh, Fuck that fucking. Salvation Army shit. That was stupid, yo, that's, that's funny. Hilarious. But that, I just always wanted to know that. What? Or what they? Oh, they how you come up with the 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 uh, dance as a unit? I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm the worst though. I ain't, I ain't the creative one though, bro. Like I'm the, I'm the execution. I ain't the come up with shit. So I be need I be, other motherfuckers gotta come up with some shit. And I just hop me in. But like I ain't the motherfucker that's just gonna be at bro. Oh, we about to hit the shake with the uh uh and then the, uh, and not, See, that, but, that but if the most effective head. dudes on the team ain't coming up with it, that mean that we got some. Bum nigga coming over here with the ideas. But you ain't about to get no interception, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that's why he come but up no, with it. no, he gonna come up that's with it. That's why he come yeah, up yeah, with yeah. it. He gonna teach it. That's the hype man, though. Like, yeah, yeah, man. That's your job. Yeah, yeah, you, you ain't, ain't somebody, somebody to gas him up. Yeah. You yeah, know man. what else I don't like about, about like the defensive units that do the dance and shit? Why y'all do the dance when some of y'all be down? Like Y'all don't care about the score of the game? Ah, uh, that's not my lane. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I be feeling. I don't. But then at the same time, it's Joe Shine, motherfucker. This I'm on TV. So like, when I'm on TV, I'm gonna do what I got. Twenty one to six. <laughs> We see someone come back from something like that before. Those so, yeah. uh, come on, bro. Not bad, too much. Not, come on, come on. <laughs> it's a new se- it's a new season, new head coach. Thirty Thirty three zip. It's over with. <laughs> nah, that's old shit. It don't matter. Cause guess what? They still home too. So if you ain't winning around, <laughs> and we beat the team. So I don't even want to hear that. Who the quarterback? Who, our quarterback? Probably get a young boy. Uh-huh. Fourth pick, you know what I'm saying? We might get the one. Oh, I don't know what oh, we're they, doing. Oh, they get one of you. know, nothing but speculation. Old. We might go up the one, but that's speculation. You know what I'm saying? I like us. Same speculation if the people on the team is reading it, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's speculation if we say it. <laughs> <laughs> I got Twitter like the rest of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm on that John. Reading fan, see, seeing fan theories. Wait, you watch like the blogs and shit home? about y'all? You watch the, nah, the podcast but you got, about y'all? The thing is, you got to know what the narrative is around y'all name, though. Like, because motherfuckers will start getting a little too left. Sometimes you got to hold on. Hold on. Nah, that's not that. Let's bring him, let's bring him back. <laughs> let's bring him back. But Michael Parsons on Twitter begging for one of the young boys to come to Dallas. Yeah, he be. What do you think about that? Actually, because this is the second time now that uh, Micah has tweeted something that fans could take as a shot to Dak. What, what quarterback? Yeah, he, Who keep, he asked for. Which no, one? no, uh, celeb uh, Caleb, the young boy said, uh, "Yo, I really want to, I really want to be in the Super Bowl next year." And then he responded saying, "Oh, so you must, you must be coming to the Cowboys." Mm. Mm. Oh, you talking about uh, Caleb, mm-hmm. the young boy USA? Yeah. Yeah, that's a little spicy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little spicy. Your man got that spot. 
<laughs> How you feel? You like Caleb? Y'all well, not getting Caleb. That's over. He, he won the one. humanitarian award though. Did that? <laughs> right? Sue, Sue was like, fly though. Sue was fly though. Sue yeah, fly. yeah, yeah. They was hating, but he was fly though. And he picks up litter. Must be like, <laughs> <laughs> must must be quite the citizen. <laughs> Nigga, Israel, get rid of Dag and the heartbeat of that young boy. Y'all, y'all don't have a shot at him. Yeah, no. What pick y'all got? 20 something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Caleb not coming out till next year, though. He was, so he was a I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I'm not sold on rookies like that. Like, I, I take veterans over rookies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think uh, organizations do that a lot when they go just sell the whole farm, franchise, all of that for somebody that's not proven. I don't agree with that. I'll take the dude that's been battle tested. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, what, so what, which one would you rather? Well, I guess you answered it, but the vet who is probably, who, who his better years could be behind him. No, or, I, but you could get you a you could, could get a nigga on. that's th- th- three, four, five years in that has proven what he could do. Only, only in the NFL. Uh, those don't become available. I don't, I don't yeah, agree I don't, with that, bro. Amari Cooper. I'm talking about quarterback. Talking about quarterback. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Why? Derek Carr. You want you 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 think you think Derek Carr goes? What team you think Derek Carr could go to is going to make them a contender immediately? <sighs> um. The Jets would be uh, the Jets. The San Jets. Fran don't the really Jets. count. San the Fran Jets. had the Commanders. Yeah, everybody yeah. at quarterback. The commanders, Jets. command. You well, think Washington. you think he go to Commanders and that changes that division? Yes, absolutely. Derek Carr go to Commanders. They still probably, but well, they might be the they still the third best team in that division. Listen, they get to the dance. They get competitive. They'll get to the dance. They get competitive if Derek Carr is there. But I didn't come to work to talk about Derek Carr. That's mm-hmm. y'all could do. I was right. just giving them one. Like I talk about the sexy shit, like Derek Carr niggas that. <laughs> 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 y'all stuck with Dak, bro. That's it. I, I, yeah. Yeah. I don't need, I don't need, y'all might as well let I, that breathe. I didn't say a word, bro. That's I didn't want to talk about Dak. Y'all. And that was fucked up because I drafted Derek Carr. Like, let me stop being It's a new season, man. Zero, zero, <laughs> don't matter. I don't care about nothing that happened. Don't talk to me about last year. Taylor going to have 1,500? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that. What you want him to say right now, man? I don't know what he's talking about. He ain't even text. You better text the coach, nigga. You got a new coach. You don't know what his strategy I'm is. Like, some running gun yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might yeah. like y'all new quarterback. He might want to throw 60 times. That's cool. What did everybody here think of the uh, Tubi commercial? Shit had me hot, bro. Everybody. <laughs> it got, it got they me got for a everybody. But, the, but then I realized not, my TV don't make that noise. That so shit did like, not work right. on me. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is a commercial or something. They yeah. got me. They got me. I was yeah. in the house screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I know how my son And the house was screaming at me too <laughs> <laughs> Your bum ass Wi-Fi yeah. Nah uh, What that John pick Mr. and Mrs. Smith Yeah I was like what <laughs> <laughs> That's related Yeah like come on At least put a slap Like <laughs> You ain't like Mr. and Mrs. Smith I'm Mr. saying Mr. That's Smith like one of the slap. Oldest it's jokes That's a good joke But you gonna run it man. back In that moment though We in the crib It's lit Right It's wings Pizza Cheese steaks All around nah. here We not finna sit around And watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith they, yes, they will. Two white uh, serial killers. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Check that out, bro. That shit, that shit bad? Do I like Mr. and Mrs. Smith? I'm saying you, that's like, that's, you a rom-com guy? He loves rom-coms. I like Mr. and Mrs. Smith. That's yeah, that's my cool. shit. That's good for you. Oh, that's and nice. y'all girl, and y'all girl. while we on white people. I'm going to get this little white hate out real quick, and then we're going to move on. Ooh. You know Jalen Brunson been scoring 40 points all month, right? <sighs> uh-huh. I seen it. I seen it, too. I seen it. <laughs> I seen Salute. It. You seen it? I see good for him though. You see him hit the quick good. Move. Yeah, that was tough. Good move for him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. that move, that move. Yeah, yeah. that was tough. That's that move by him. Good move. Uh, I- Iggy showed up. Exactly. Showed up, huh? To the post. To the post. She showed up. Interview. She was right there. She had to say congratulations on a good game. <laughs> and he good hit her with the. He hit her with the. Yo, I want to fucking. <laughs> oh God. Good for him, bro. Yeah, yeah. Salute, yeah. King. Salute. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you want, Joe. Fuck, I didn't talking. say nothing. I, I just said you can say what you want. When do bitches have to give it up? That's my question. Never. What, what? Okay. That's she hot. Don't she got the OnlyFans popping? Yeah, she good. Oh, uh, hey. <laughs> no. I, who you asking? You not the OnlyFans guy? No. No. But he loves her and would pay for her <laughs> shit. Okay. I recently have unsubscribed from everybody on my OnlyFans. All of them. I got them out of there. Just cleaned I up. I ain't playing with these hoes no more. Yeah, they, they playing with me. It's a, it's a new crop coming in. No, <laughs> off yeah, it. I got I got rid of my shit. Off it. My to my yeah. My tolerance level is like if you ain't doing some shit on there, then like, what are we talking about? I can on. get somebody to do this in real life. Like bitch, boom. <laughs> I can pay you to do it. Some of y'all been there so long, I forgot y'all was charging me forty a clip a month. Forty. A, <laughs> 40, 
40 a month. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. I had to fix some of y'all up. 50 a month. Hey, Pat- hey Patroni's always shit about Joe Button prices <laughs> ever again. 50 a month? Damn. Some of them is cracking him, but 50 a month on there. So that's what I'm saying. I don't want to hear about who's killing on OnlyFans. I can't speak to whether Shorty is killing or not. Because once you get there, it's going to be the big initial, oh, uh-huh. you there. Uh-huh. But now we got to see what's Sustain. going on before we stay here. Mm. But to keep in a buck, if you make a quick couple mil, who gives a fuck? Look how fast you just said that. That's the problem with 2023. Look how casually we just say things. If you just make a quick couple mil... And based we, on and based we, on what we've report, I don't I've never been on OnlyFans in my life, but based on what we've reported on OnlyFans, we we, we, like we have only reported on things that publicists re- want us to right. report That's on. Right. We don't know the real numbers. <laughs> we don't know. I'm pretty sure there's a handful of people making a couple million dollars on there. So more than that, yeah, it's got to be low overhead costs. So all the cash you get, yeah, you got an iPhone in your right? bathroom with the junk. <laughs> they got it. Right. They got it. Yeah, they can. No, oh no. Some, some now. There's a lot more technology involved now. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, they, yeah, they got the. It's the mechanical dick on there now. They, pluck, they <laughs> but the sticky shit. They stick that shit right to the wall and get the going. <laughs> That's low overhead. <laughs> <laughs> you take some some super glue. Some, 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 some super glue. Tell the guests don't go, don't go in that room over there. That's that. that. <laughs> I mean, well, if, if it's bad lighting. <laughs> <laughs> True. So lighting, is, lighting, is, lighting is important in those days. So you're on OnlyFans, you like the professional looking Jones or you like I feel like OnlyFans supposed to be like amateur, ain't it? Oh not for me. No, sir. You pay. You pay. You pay. Yo, he just said fifty dollars a month. Clip. Cause I'm giving you because y'all looking at it like you better have. Y'all is looking it at it like line, like like Brazzers like or is it just straight up like? See, look, Brazzers was big time production. Brazzers, Brazzers was OD. I ain't gonna hold with them. my high school team. I went to all boys school. We had our. Uh, <laughs> The account swung it around, <laughs> but then it got crazy. Wait, like, what? Got swung it around? Wait, 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 wait. But I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all it somewhere else. Y'all taking it all I heard was I went to the old boy school and swing. That nigga swung it around. Hey, I never went to none of them shit. So come on, take it easy now. I saw sleepers though. The movie. You saw, you saw what? Sleepers, the movie. <laughs> when that came out? 80? Oh, 80s, no, no, no. 70? No, no way. No, they came out in like... That was the 90s. 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 Early 90s. Early 90s. Mid, mid, yeah. Mid, I think. Early. Sleepers was hard. Super early. Sleepers is a great movie. Great movie. Very. Brad Pitt and them. Kevin Bacon. Sleepers Kevin Bacon, Kevin Brad Nigga, that shit was early uh, 90s. Was Brad Pitt in Sleepers? Yes, yes 96. Was. Yeah. 96. Mid, mid 90s. That shit was, that was a great, great movie. movie. Mm-hmm. But that's what Robert I be thinking. Robert De Niro. When you say old boys go, I think that movie. You was a little football <laughs> nigga in Sleepers. I ain't never seen a movie, so I don't know if that's, I don't know if it's disrespect or not. So just just, just carry me differently. That's all that's all I'm gonna say. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just checking. I, I, I don't know. So you mean now I gotta go do my research and come holler at you about it. Just come holler at you. Alright, so y'all was on Brads. I used to be on Brazzers too. Of course. I used to get my shit off from the preview, the 90 seconds. <laughs> no cap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 90 yeah. seconds. You straighten up from together, yeah. <laughs> hey, before dude say, hey, you need a ride? <laughs> <laughs> I've arrived. <laughs> oh, hey, man. where you going, miss? <laughs> 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 Sick. Got to rewind oh, this motherfucker. Oh, got to no pick your spots. Nigga got to pick your spots, God damn it. The leaves out the pool yet. This nigga stupid, yo. What's wrong with you? Oh, the pool guy? Oh, they always get pool. Oh, my like, God. <laughs> Every Lisa Lips video. Pool, yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking oh, pool The funniest guy. shit of all time was when they had the pizza delivery dude, and then he had to dick through the pizza box. Through the hole. <laughs> <laughs> that was some wild shit. So, yo, niggas is perverts, yo. Fact. Yo, one of them shit. I think I was watching Lisa Ann on one of them big titty white bitches I be watching. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and the pizza guy came, and five minutes later, <laughs> he was fucking... He was fucking her on a ping pong, not a ping pong, a uh, pinball machine. And I was just, after I nutted, I was so impressed. I was like, where the fuck did a pinball machine? Who thought to put a pinball machine? That's, that's a good idea. It's all about the furniture. Because you ain't got a bit, you ain't got, it's not an awkward, it was a real Try swift, that, yeah. Here, bend over, you're getting fucked, and I'm out of here. And she tipped him. And she tipped him. I don't even know how to do that. So, wait, you was able to keep watching? 
Yes. You finished the whole joint? Wait, I never finished a whole joint. <laughs> but how do you watch after? Oh, you just skip to the end? No, after you watch. It was. How, how, how do you yeah. keep watching? Oh, he said the preview. No, he talking was, preview. He talking preview. Though, no, right? the one oh. I'm talking about, it was one three minutes in, they was fucking. <laughs> I'm saying, but you I'm say she said. took them at the end, so you skip to the end? No, not the end. I'm not saying. Brazz has got that crazy ass. This uh, wasn't on Brazz. Which one you want to see? You want to see uh, this? Oh, wait. Well, that's right here. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's a freak. I would look. I want the all boys going to keep me the funk. It was, it was hard times, bro. Young, young, young Pause. teenagers. Yo. Young teenagers. <laughs> so nobody here would fuck Sarah J. No. Now? No. Anything. Any, I didn't have to Oh, yeah, back then. Of course. Yeah. I was, and a poke. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, but now, no, nah, you crazy. You do that, but you, yeah, you ain't got cool. no morals in life. Like, disrespect. no disrespect. She a legend, can't, queen. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, do your thing. Cool. Over there, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, yeah, ice, it's not ice cup of tea anyway. Okay, oh. um, young Sarah, ice went up. Moving right along, I don't think I have any more football. Uh, Oh, that Jesus commercial. They got to stop it. Yeah, mm. Jesus got the The bag. Jesus commercial. They got the bag right. Yeah, fucking they got Joel Osteen over there funding shit. They stepped their shit up. There's mad Jesus commercials. You didn't see it? I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. They, they were like, what? they're a long joints too. They're like a minute and a oh, half. Yeah. There's a 30 and yes. a 60, min- a 60 yeah. second. Yep. Now you're going to notice them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was one of them? It was the black and white it was protest. It was all types of shit going on. Like they strung together mad shit. And then at the end, it said, "At the end, it said, uh, remember, you hate people. Jesus, oh Jesus loves the people you hate.' <laughs> oh yeah, oh. yeah. I didn't feel like the commercials was that lit this year though. There wasn't the it one. Was. Uh, the Jack Harlow Dorito shit was funny with the triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was hard. That was cool. was I kind of like the Ben Affleck Dunkin' Donuts one. That was better. I like that one. I like that. that I was like, funny. I like the Puffy uh, Puff Daddy oh, commercial. Puffy was good too. Like two part too. Too. They started that at the Grammys. Yeah, yeah but I like and this they, part. They, 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 yeah. 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 wasn't that good. I honest, I thought Tubi was the best one. Be, be honest with you, just because that's the one I remember the most. Because that shit had me fucked up. Like, well, and you have Tubi, right? Nah. Even though I you feel like I need it. to tap in over there, but nah. I feel like I should probably get it too. Like, is that the shit I Because I've been here. I want to watch a homemade Detroit. What's the shit you be talking about? It began. It began crazy. Tell y'all, man. The homemade Detroit movie. Yeah, I'm bro. Trying. That's where. That's where it buffed you know up. Man? Buffed up. Buffed up. Talk about it. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't talk about. it. I don't care. Go ahead. I'm telling you, man. Buffed to, up. Tubi and Zeus. That's all I need now, bro. Mm. You be on Zeus for real? What? Yes. How, how much we think Floyd owned that shit now? Oh no, nah, he got to Got to be ninety nine percent, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least. Yeah. They done, they got you open Zeus now. It's that's all you see. Floyd. Floyd. Floyd fight. Um, I forget the dude's name. It's it's um February twenty fifth in London. And that's all they showing. And then they showed the undercard. What's the undercard? Tommy versus Natalie Nunn. That's for all of us who watch baddies, man. <laughs> that's it. That shouldn't be on the undercard, though. That fight should happen outside in the street. <laughs> I'm paying for like that fight. Like I don't care about the Floyd fight. You gotta be able to drag him by the to really get a good one in there. Well, girl. the crazy street fighter, yes, but all of those characters could fight. Yeah, I'm, and Natalie like the fight. Nunn can't yeah. fight a lick, but Tommy can fight. A lot got, of people were saying it should have been Tommy and Krishan. That's what a lot of people were saying. Krishan, like she got some weight on her, though, bro. I saw Krishan deadlift All right, Zaya, so yeah, that's twice now. Ice Spice and Krishan. You follow the work. Hey. Hey. No, we see you. That's, that's my type. We just no, no, no. That's, that's two of them we, though we now. We see you. We see you. What's your name? I don't want no smoke. <laughs> <laughs> out of that though. Nah, Krishan, nah, Krishan nah. on video deadlifting 315 pounds though. That's not light, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's not light, bro. And then you do 315 right now? I don't know what that is. That nigga. That's when you just do like that right yeah. now. Nah, you got to keep your straight legs. Yeah, yeah. what, the, what was that shit? This nigga, boy. I don't know nothing about that. This body's a mess, right? So you just don't work out? Don't you come to the party? No, he got a, pe- he got, no, no, he got a Peloton. No, I don't work out. <laughs> he got a Peloton. <laughs> Why not? Like, you don't wait, look, wait, no, mute up, mute up. I'll be mad busy, I don't. No, he I don't. Time yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm sick of this lie. I'm <laughs> sick of this lie. You don't be no, mad, bitch. No. You can work out in the morning. People wake up at 5 a.m. The gyms be open. You could go. What are you talking about? Fucking First of all, now he about to yell at me. Get sassy. Know, he about to crack. about to crack life, his neck. How do you know what my life entails? Talking about I'm lying. No, I don't. There you go. 
I mean, you could you could find time if you prioritize working out. Everybody can find time to work. But out. But you don't care about like having a better body. Honestly, I'm not prioritizing living a long time. And, yeah, yeah. Like you, I should like breathing. I should definitely. <laughs> I breathe fine. I don't smoke. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so you shit. mad he the, He's mad I don't smoke Why would I be mad? Because you had a one up on me Being able to breathe better Nigga Now I'm back on your ass Nigga shut up Yeah nigga Breathe again Breathe again <laughs> Ish yo You know what's funny I don't like this old defensive ish Because when we was younger I'm talking to him I'm done with you When we was younger I'd be like yo Ish What's up We outside tonight He would be like before all this was even built, he was like, nah, I gotta run seven miles up. Oh, this nigga shit. used to go. Yeah, used to oh, that's run. probably why you burned yourself out, huh? Nah, I used to run. I'm just again, then he lost hope I, and I, faith. I, I, <laughs> God damn, I, 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 got discouraged <laughs> in his body. <laughs> <laughs> nigga start Sheesh. feeling like the eyes was enough. <laughs> he said, oh. <laughs> I'm saying, oh, nah, you right. Don't, don't, don't listen to this fool. <laughs> Time, and when the last scrap you had, you ain't ask him. Keep talking to him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no. last one? Yeah. Now ask him, like, why he don't care about being in shit. Wow. That is interesting, though. Like, I feel like my whole life basically based off working out. I've been working out since I was in, like, I don't know. <laughs> so you said, so. <laughs> I'm trying to say. So you slide that nigga across the <laughs> you saying. Question for you. What's up, King? What you do for a living? I play football. You're a professional athlete. Your whole I'm life. I'm a businessman, first and foremost. No, oh, no. That's true. That's true. That's true. Right. That's true. Right. 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 Yeah, that's, hold that's true. That's true. Your whole life should be based around working. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying from my perspective, like for somebody who like and working out is just such a such a part of. I mean, I, I'm a young, I'm a young man. I was asking. But come on, you I'm need tw- to be strong to carry the lumber. I'm and just shit saying that's good. From, but I ain't saying I don't. think I'm not knocking that at all. Nah, Everybody should prioritize. Let me, let me say this. Though. Though. I ain't doing let me say. I, I think it's ridiculous for people that go in the gym and lift weights. Like, like, there's no reason you should be squatting. Anything over three hundred pounds, you should never do nothing that's heavy, Jaylen, especially that's while that's you're pregnant. That's why Jalen will run your ass over. You, f- you fucking cap. <laughs> you you don't like that shit. Right, you are cap, Look at bro. his ego come yeah, out. No, he very deflected. Yo. That wasn't right with no, the dick. He deflected. Squats six hundred and change. I squatted seven hundred pounds before too. That's cool, man. That's big Z. Seven forty five. That's big Z. I mean, that's I get it, but much respect the dog. You better go use your Google. I mean, I better use your Google. I'm one of them too, but it's cool now. But he's also a professional athlete. That's what I'm. Saying if you are not an athlete and you don't play sports, why are you running third like the motherfucker that was on the treadmill with the knife and shit? Like what y'all be doing? And shit? Like, go home, bro. That's what I say. I'm going home. But you gotta do something though, bro. Right, At least walk on the treadmill or something. I'm gonna I'm I'm work on that. You know what I'm saying. So at no point do because Ice, you said you don't work out either, right? I work out work. often. I'm, I mean, so at no often, point do y'all think about like getting do, aggressive with a man? Of course, I do, I do daughter lifts. <laughs> that, that's my workout. Daughter lifts. Hey, she heavy, man. You said at no point do I worry about getting aggressive with a I man. I didn't say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Daughter list has taken me. <laughs> Daughter list has taken, effectively taken me. It worked. Yo, <laughs> Joe. You, what? He already took me out the game. Don't shoot at me. Big niggas get knocked out. Niggas yeah, be yeah, in the well, gym with to all work, the muscles. You have to work toward that. They get knocked out easily, too. You, you oh, you're going to hit them with, with a 12 hit a quitter. I'm not. <laughs> I don't got 12 of me. I ain't got 12 I ain't got 12 of me. I'm just saying, like, yo, big niggas get knocked yo, out. Yo, and don't come in here talking all that weight lift shit to my podcast niggas. I'm just man. asking a question. I mean, you ain't got to lift weights. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You can run. You I work out. Pilates. You know, do, you run, do, you do anything athletic now? I'm actually training That's to be Ms. a Pilates, Pilates instructor. Are you actually? That's Captain P. No, I love. Pilates. I'm actually on. That's I'm in my Pilates bag right now. Mm-hmm. I was gonna ask. Why you, you just look me up and down like that? Excuse me. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna Yo. try and get them all in a Pilates studio. No, I, I, I know. I know. It's not gonna work. I, exactly. They the don't know no better. It's not gonna work. It's not Yo, gonna dog. Work. I want to see you at 47 come in here and talk Pilates. What? Get your fucking ass out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him on the. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Get him on the stretch bed. Fuck out of here, nigga. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I got time for that. When I come in, you don't work out when it's 47. I want you to be here so I could come in here when nah, I'm 47. I mean, you know what I mean? I appreciate that. You know what I mean? That's true. You know what I mean? I appreciate that. That's true. That. You out here eating chicken wings and shit. When you I was your age, my nigga, when I was your age. Wearing all the Lance Armstrong rubber bands. I, I, I didn't weigh 150 pounds when I was your age. Lose Never biked a mile. Yeah, I was skinny as shit when I was your age. Nah, that Pilates is some OD shit, though. Mm-hmm. I ain't even care. It's tough. Poolside, right? Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Bedroom yeah. Pilates. Oh, yeah. What? 
bedroom Pilates. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. okay. It <laughs> does improve your performance. <laughs> see, see, see. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the class. <laughs> Throw it up, throw it up. Yeah. Thank you. See, but all of the conversation that y'all have heard from this cast in the last, I say, fifteen to twenty minutes is why I'm going to announce to y'all it's over. We have lost. We've lost the battle. Whatever it is you think you're out there fighting for, we are down here distracted by Floyd Mayweather uh, taking over equity from Zeus. Mm. Natalie Nunn and them fighting. It's working out. Blueface and Krishan doing whatever they're doing. The aliens. It's working out. Red boots. See, not the aliens. Not the aliens. Red boots. The Super Bowl. Red boots. Mm. Red boots. Red boots. I want to know who owns these red boots. I think it's Scooter Braun. (laughs) (laughs) Who is powerful enough? Might be. To have all of you doofs (laughs) do the same exact thing at the same exact time (laughs) For something that benefits you none because it looks cool on the internet. Mm. I think it's Scooter Braun. Him, him and Kelly. Or, yeah. or Nigo. Him and Kanye, What's his name Mike. that all y'all <laughs> want to know? Uh, it's Nigo, Nigo right? Yeah. Nigo. I think Nigo did it. Look, look, he ready to go. He ready to go. If it's one nigga ready to go, he ready to go. I, no, I admit it that I saw I saw a couple times. <laughs> I, I wouldn't wear it personally because it's not my bag. I don't really follow trends necessarily, but... I, I, I thought them shits were ridiculous and stupid, but I did see a couple of times where I'm like, I see what you did there. No, respect. I respect. I, I wasn't familiar with your game. Respect. I, I seen what Shaw uh, Alexander did. You liked his fit with it? I liked, once I went to the rest of his pictures and saw that that's his That's opt- his thing. That's how he dresses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that's kind of his thing. It made sense for him. I wasn't mad at him. Mm-hmm. He dresses like that at all times. Let me go see what he He's got to fly. I think I followed that. Nigga. I'm waiting to see. There's one person in particular that I just have a feeling is going to pop up with him. I'm not going to say his name because it's going to be hate. But when I see Fab with them boots. I know what going to say. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to have it with it, though? Oh, matchy. Starter jacket? Matchy, no, matchy. So, look, Lizzie. <laughs> I'm just asking no, I respect the Fab. <laughs> the starter jacket. He is going to have them red boots. He's going to have them boots. If it's anybody going to have them, it's him. Chicago Bulls jacket or some shit. With, oh, uh, God. With a caption. That's, yeah. Nah, and he gonna have a that's new color like purple. Say, like. He gonna have a new color one. Wait, what'd you say? I just looked up the he outfit when the he had the red boots on. Shea Gilchrist Alexander. Huh. What? Just regular white tee jeans. No. Green leather jacket. See, no, to me not at all. It, it looked like he purposely was trying to do the cartoon look, the cartoon figurine figure look with those style jeans that style little belt, that jacket fitting the way it fit on him like a little young with the puffy shit. You go to the rest of his page, he has pieces that fit properly. The way that that fit is, even to the sag of the pants, he was purposely dressed like a video game character. Like he went with the whole boot look. Mm. I thought it was fly. Anyway, but what do I know? I'm not a fashionista. Actually, I am. I mean, he kind of I'm, I'm getting, you I am. Are. I'm you getting are. a lot of fashion week texts. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm getting... <laughs> I'm just saying yeah, no, Shout out to you with, with Tokyo Tokyo no, just the, had My man was just out there No the New York fashion Oh my fuck ass <laughs> Yeah they don't They don't invite me To the shit Where you gotta fly <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> I think I invited you To London That's true yeah. But that was too late I'll probably do that A little bit how y'all, how y'all feel about Like fashion I be I was just talking To my OG about this And he was saying like Fashion for like it's it's becoming like more. I don't want to say it's getting more like feminine, but it's more like unisex. Like you'll see, like what people promote and what people wear is more so like, oh, I could see a girl wearing that. Now you you styling and you doing what you want, but like it's just I feel like all the fashion is kind of becoming more like we all at least what like is considered lit right now is just kind of more like unisex. That's what it seems like. It, it's, it's not it's not unisex. It's I, niggas are wearing women clothing and mm-hmm. women accessories and stuff. It's not unisex. It's made. It's in the women's section. They just going over there to get it. Like, nah, what did y'all used true. to say that about is, that, Cam I'm, Newton and the way he dressed? I mean, <sighs> I, I just feel like Cam sexual. is just. Flamboyant. I like how Cam dressed. Mm-hmm. Everything Cam, Cam do. Cam, yeah. wasn't, Cam wasn't feminine. Yeah. He was Cam just. Wasn't, Cam was loud. Feminine. Like he gonna wear the, yeah. the John, but he gonna wear the big hat. He will wear a man suit. Yeah, but yeah. with a funny cut. 
Uh-huh. Short. Not mm-hmm. a funny cut cut to his body to a T. No, but I'm talking about like an unconventional cut. Like he's he was wearing the Kulaks oh, um, got it, got it, suits got it, and got shit. It, got it. Mm-hmm. But it, it'll be like a three-piece suit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It'll just be something a little quirky. He would wear um, the stripy socks mm-hmm. 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? He was just doing different shit. But what he was wearing wasn't necessary. It wasn't feminine. Though. Yeah, the feminine style. And fuck out of here, NFL, saying. for trying to celebrate uh, black quarterbacks and not Cam Newton. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They left him out a little tribute. Really? Yeah. I didn't catch that. Oh. Me neither. I didn't see that either. Me neither. Yeah, was, yeah they did. Cam might have pissed somebody off. Man, but still, he's an so, MVP. He's a black so MVP. Yeah. So you got to at least acknowledge it. But anyway, the point that I was getting to before I got sidetracked uh, with all of us on Earth being sidetracked, <laughs> the shit that they doing up there, they got us. Facts. Whatever it is, I don't believe what they saying it is uh-uh. either no more. It's over for that. Something is happening, and they don't want to let us know because there will be civil unrest. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. There will be panic and pandemonium, and nobody will have eggs. Or it'll be civil u- u- unity. Mm-hmm. They don't want that either. <laughs> or, don't want. Or, yeah. or that. <laughs> All of the objects being shot out of the sky. I'll go All over the place. Earlier. It'll mm-hmm. be civil unrest. What's been going on? There's been... Things being shot out of the sky, like they're calling them balloons. But well, what was a balloon? Well, no, they called one a balloon. Yeah, yeah, one the rest they're not even Jap- calling the them. Yeah, they're right? just saying they're just objects, objects. Yeah, unidentified they just objects. objects. They're shooting them out of the sky. One was above Alaska. Another one was above like Lake Huron uh-huh. in Canada. Um, yeah, that was. There's like been like four within oh. like the last month. No, or t- within the last no, within week the last, and a half. Week yeah, yeah. two weeks. Yeah. Last week and a half, two weeks, he's been four. And they gonna pull up his ears in these big ass boots. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking doofuses. Like never mind. <laughs> like never mind. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't like the 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 wrong nah, channel. Not never mind. They gonna see us and like, yo, throw, throw the plan out the window. We don't, we don't need the plan. We can just scoop them. <laughs> no, we a mess down here. Yeah, I think it I don't think, scare you that something could be that we could be attacked via air, water. Uh, virus. We could be attacked through our food. We just, it don't scare you that we are just vulnerable everywhere and none of us would be any the wiser? Damn. Nobody would know. We're going to turn on the TV. We're going to listen to them say, yo, Russia or Japan sent a balloon. We shot it down. It was some shit up in there. Hey, by good. We're going to hear that five, six, seven times, a different version of that, and be like, Fam, feel even, safe, dog. Even the first shit, they said it was a a, a a spy balloon from China. They said the shit was the size of three buses. It was two hundred some odd feet long, mm-hmm. and they discovered it over like Montana or some shit. Mm-hmm. Over flying over secure um, government airspace. website air, uh, airspace. It didn't shoot the shit down until it got to South Carolina. No, but they well they, that that's telling. They said that they were scared to shoot it down because they didn't know what was inside of it. Initially. Yeah, it's over that's for that. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. See, it's over for that part. That's the part that it's over for, know. listening to what they said. I don't think that they immediately, they let that shit go from Montana to South Carolina with... Um, but, um, dog, it's, this is some spy shit. So, it, it, this shit was... The picture they showed, this shit was carrying a fucking satellite. Big ass. Y'all, really, y'all really think uh, like America let that joint cross our borders and we didn't, we didn't know nothing about it, though? That part. The fact that they no, even they knew about it. it. We huh? knew about it. I'm saying that the fact that they got to Montana, like you, don't, you feel like it, they oh, knew when you. it was there. They, they knew. They, now they just had to start talking about it because other motherfuckers started people like, yes. like, yeah, so what the fuck is that? Okay, so yeah. this is what happened. Yeah, no, what I'm, I'm not. I'm not jacking that. You're not believing that. You feel like that came over I, here and, have, and they just I found have, it in Montana. I have to go into this thing with an open mind. Is all I'm saying. Mm. I have to know that I don't know. That's step one. So what you're saying is me assuming to know something, and I don't know anything. There are mm-hmm. conflicting reports from pilots that went up there mm-hmm. that say, first of all, whatever the fucking first one was, it wasn't on nobody's, uh, allegedly. It wasn't on their little spy cam GPS detectors. Yeah. It took pilots to be up there saying, you. It's some shit up here. It's yeah. some shit up here. <laughs> <laughs> are, y'all, are y'all accounting for this? Because I'm not supposed to see this. I'm That's not, one. I'm not Two. Checking. What's the well, radar maybe. shit called? Hold on but wait, second. also, conflicting reports from pilots, and a few of them niggas seen it and said, yo, we don't see any propeller system 
uh, this thing don't seem that we don't ha- this thing don't have nothing that we used to see and we don't know how it's even levitating. We don't know how it's flying. We don't see nothing. Our sensors ain't telling us what it is. We don't know. So I don't know that the U.S., the all so wise knowing U.S. I think the U.S. be eons behind in terms of updating shit. But what I'm saying is we spend so much money in our military budget that if some shit enter into United States airspace and we are none the wiser, somebody need to get fired. And get some of them hundreds of billions back. I spoke to Rob O'Neill, who had a whole different perspective on what happens with the money that is supposed oh, to be used for war. That. I can believe that. <clears throat> so I can believe that. Pocket liners. Yeah. That's yeah. It. yeah. 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 Mattress. It's liners. scary as all. I mean, I don't know nothing. I'm not even reporting nothing. All I'm saying is I'm a lot more scared than people want me to be. But let me ask you though, do you feel like you want to be privy to like all yes. that all that stuff? Yeah. yeah, you were living like constant fear. Somebody though. like me, I would want to be. No. I don't think I already live in constant fear. This is the fear. arrogance of us. I think that I live in constant fear already. Yes, no, of I'm things cool. that that are in your realm, but you don't know what you don't know, like you said, right? So you you say you assume you don't know you don't know anything, but it's just like there's but that scares me. That's what people say once the president takes office, he finds out a whole kind of shit. That's why Obama went in that joint looking like the young, handsome Barack and let that motherfucker mm-hmm. stress. Yeah, he, he, he holding out. who holding them secrets every time I yeah. see him, his hair get whiter, bro. <laughs> He going through yeah, it over there because he, he, he knows some shit. Little Monica Lewinsky to help him out. That's like <laughs> a little, 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 yeah. little blessing in the oval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what <laughs> Bill was doing. Yeah. Presidential OnlyFans yeah. account. I know, I know, I know what you're saying. Like, are we protected by what we don't know? Yeah, yeah. I think to you a degree. Are. You have and, to and, and we are. But you asked the specific question, which About was myself. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know. Let me ask y'all a question. Sure. So, if, if they, if with all of their space technology and shit, they knew that. It's some shit coming that's going to impact the planet and life as we know is done mm-hmm. in six months. Would you want them to announce that? Yeah, me? Yes. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want them to announce it to the world. Mm-hmm. Me, so, me so being just, selfish. Just tell you. I'll tell you. Just, you. <laughs> want I want to text you. you to text you, bro. If you don't announce it, then <laughs> hey, go watch the first episode of Last of Us. And I, I just was, when you right. was talking. They, they, didn't, they didn't announce nothing. Right. Yep. You just looked out the window and your neighbor was bugging out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Started eating, attacking. Yeah. Right. No, tell me what's going on. I, I ain't want to. That's got to be the most lit part of the, the I like that show. Like that, I, when it first dropped. Ooh, that shit like. What's lit? Like Rough House. What, what, what? When, when, the, when the, uh, the, the virus, zombie virus or whatever the fuck, when it first happened. That yeah, shit just, it's just and too these, much pain and these niggas don't work out. You play football. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. that, that's yeah, they gonna work be out for a whole you week. You can't to look at niggas like he fucking Jack Lalane. Damn, when you start working out, <laughs> Jack Lalane. Tell the audience who Jack Lalane is. Tell the audience who Jack Lalane is. Richard Simmons is. to somebody. Can you, can you tell, can you tell <laughs> the audience? Hey, oh, Richard they, Simmons. They know Ben Simmons. What was y'all Richard Simmons, he said. What was y'all born, bro? Who is Jack Lalane, bro? And Richard Simmons. Tell him. No, no, not you. Jack LaLanne Him. is like one of the Look. founding fathers of like exercising and working out and shit. Oh. He, he started a whole bunch of gyms. Founded is that the boy fathers. with all the tights and he had the videos? Of the, founding with, fathers. With the curly hair or yeah. the short hair? Yeah. Huh? The curly hair nigga is Richard Simmons. Oh, okay. All right. And then Jack yeah. LaLanne. Jack, LaLanne, Jack LaLanne didn't have curly hair. He basically kind of revolutionized like the, oh, the juicer shit, as we know it. Mm. In the yeah. Gym that was great. Yeah. Who did Tabo? Who was that? That's Billy, Billy Blanks. Blanks. Look, they don't want to name nobody black. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to name a, a black person that might have worked out a little bit, huh? Oh, no one world. And bro, that's when it's got to get turned up, bro. What? If you ain't working out, you need some you need some guns and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Don't, I don't want to be in your business, but <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You need something yeah, rocket some, launcher yeah, in some it. Guns. Just in case, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Zombie man, when the zombie jump on you, all them weights, <laughs> shit, it ain't gonna matter. It ain't gonna bite your fuck out your big ass. Nah, you're gonna need a little strength. Yeah, you're gonna, gonna need a little, a little strength. something, something. Mm-hmm. But nah, um, that, that, but the this, last them of football us- niggas might not be strong in the real world, though. Might just be on the field. <laughs> How you figure that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I and I ain't trying to really find out. Me but. either, but I, mean, <laughs> me either. I don't want to, yeah. But nah, I be watching the game like, hey, man, if I put it all in padding, all in padding. Look at pads, helmet, shoulder pad. I'm gonna tell you knee what. Knee pad, jock strap pad. Niggas, y'all tough or not? One of y'all boys put y'all, y'all had y'all pads on, and that safety from the Eagles, Chauncey Johnson, would have came down and struck y'all. Y'all would have broke all this shit. Y'all would have laid down that bitch. Y'all wouldn't have got up. No, he wouldn't have hit me. Oh, no, he, he wouldn't hit me. I'd have hit that. He'd have hit them other niggas. He wouldn't have got a hand on me. Oh, no, 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 no disrespect to them. Is either that or I would have been out of bounds. 
No, I was in the middle of the field, dog. <laughs> no. Well, I would have been out of bounds. <laughs> that nigga Chauncey. <laughs> I'd have been out of bounds. You going to hit him with the huh-huh? Yeah. That shit don't work. Listen, one day when you... <laughs> Tell Shady that. It don't work. Tell Shady that. Why you saying that? Nigga, you not monsters. Shady works out, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> don't <laughs> Shady. No, he said it don't work. Nigga, Shady We beat. talking about you in we the middle of the field. We talking about you in the field. I would be on the field if I'm not in shape, nigga. I'm saying, he said he had pat. Yo, we got a pat on that shit. Don't hurt you over here. He, he, ha, ha. Yeah, don't so he, he, ha, ha. You too, though. Because you can get cracked. You could take your big ass down to Lincoln Park Saturday morning. I'll teach you something, too. Come on. Come on down to the park. I'll show you where out of bounds is. <laughs> I'll show you how to get away from somebody. I'll be on top of cars, fences. I know that park like the back of my hand. <laughs> Go around a little lake. All right, let me see. What else? What else? What else? What else is important? Let me go to my notes, yo. The notes is when I start telling the truth. Let me see if I got some truth in my notes. Subo to Well, yo, we, we was on the subject of, of them not telling us shit. What do, do, what do y'all think is going on with this train uh, derailment in Ohio? Oh, that's corporate greed right there, Playboy. Mm -hmm. mm. This shit is bad. Now, what I found out yesterday, well, y all y'all are yeah. aware of it, right? Yeah. No. So a train derailed. And um, it's called, e the city is East Palestine, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And it was carrying some super, super cancerous, toxic chemicals on the, on the train. Once it started to spill out, they had to do a controlled burn, burn the shit up. Oh, it's the last of us again. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> no, no, no. This one gets better, though. So now, like, they, they, there's planes flying above the clouds. The, the, they said this is the worst environmental disaster that the United States has possibly ever seen. Oh, wow. You could see the the black clouds billowing coming up, up to the billowing sky. up through like from planes. Mm -hmm. I just saw yesterday somebody told me this shit, and I said, "No, this can't be true." Mm -hmm. There's a movie on Netflix that came out in 2022 called White Noise. White Noise. That's what a movie. Okay, the movie is about a train derailment, some chemicals in East Palestine, oh, no. Ohio. I, I didn't see that White Noise. White no noise bullshit. Is, I thought white noise that, was about white the, dead, noise is the dead people. No, nah, white noise is a dot. I'm talking about the movie White Noise. It's by the uh, girl, the young activist girl, I can't remember her name. Oh, I know the one you talking about. The movie White Noise is about yeah. the dead people talking yeah, 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 to you yeah, through, yeah, the through, through the machine. Yeah. No, no, no. This was something on Netflix that came out last year. Literally the exact. They said people were extras in this movie and are now living oh, shit. the same shit that yeah. they were extra in the movie about. Netflix want to be The Simpsons so bad, yo. <laughs> hey, fam, you can't call that one. That, that's, that's spooky. Same town? Same town. East Palestine, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Random. Man, specific. Well, you, Word. What's my man that uh, was lying about all this uh, Sandy Hook shit saying it was actors? That they Alex, got, Jones. Alex Jones. Why do I never remember Alex Jones' name? It's two of the <laughs> simplest names in the world. <laughs> Alex Jones. Yeah, Alex Jones would say something different about this this one here. It's, I won't say what he's it's say, people saying. It's people saying it, but I'm, I'm not saying I'm not it saying by it. any no. means. Anybody. But they're saying, like, this is... Uh, this this entire like they're saying this is basically Chernobyl mm. over here. On That's US how bad it is on USA. Chernobyl was great too. Chernobyl was great movie. The series, not the, the series, series. Not, not the not event. The actual, history. You're talking about the event. I'm talking about the, the series. series. I'm yeah. not talking yeah. about the event. Yeah. Yeah. They're it. saying that this is that. Chernobyl. Yeah. Really? That's how bad it is. Like people were there were people saying farmers and shit ten miles away, like Chickens yo, out of yeah, out of nowhere, chickens started dying. Like, my animals are dying. They were showing them pulling dead fish out oh, of now, the rivers. Now, that story I was watching, I didn't know they were This is all connected were, to the related. train, yeah. train derailment. Farmers have been speaking up for the last, like, four to five months saying that. Oh, no, this is no, this is that. No, this, yeah. this is current shit. Like, this, this just happened. happened. The trains are rubbing. Everything in that area, people, are, their livestock are dying. People's pets are dying. Like, all the animals are getting fucked up. Got it. The last of us. Dog, that The Last of Us, you fucked me up. That shit is fire. Yeah. That shit OD. I got nah. Like, again, it was hard at first because just being PlayStation player. Anything that game, that dude is in, I'd be loving. Like, nice. I know my actors that, that I stick fire. with. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gerard Butler, you're out of, you're off my list, buddy. You are finished, Gerard Butler. I <laughs> fucking, Gerard the plane. Butler. Oh, The yeah. plane. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Gerard, boy. You was my man, too. You used to be my dog. You was in my left titty. <laughs> Gerard Butler was the king of the D movie for me. I don't know what happened to him, man. Start getting checks. He's no, he's seen Liam Nielsen keep taking the same script. He's like, you know what? Fuck this work shit. <laughs> I'm a just, <laughs> hey, go, go hey. Go seen this. that last movie I did? Make it on a plane now. Right. Yeah, I'm sick of him. Uh, I have a. 
I have a two. Oh, I got mad more shit to say. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I had a question for everybody here. Shoot, shoot. Gonna sound stupid. Does everybody here know what the song, what SWV's Rain is about? Uh, squirting on somebody, right? I'm asking y'all. Or I, just I, I never thought about it. I was never thought about it. A kid when that came or up. peeing on somebody. Yeah, squirting. Squirting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought it was about. Some kinky, harmonious hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely thought, it definitely is like really super sexual. So I thought it was definitely about squirting. Nigga, you, you go tell well, me. Did you find well, I don't know. Else? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think, so. I think it's about him coming all over her face. Oh, yeah, there is that. Yep. Possibly I never put that squirting because you're yeah. saying rain on me. No, you're right. You're right. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Well, and then at the rain end, and then at the end. No, I'm you're sure. right. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah you get, you're right. if you get to the end and listen to her ad libs. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nah, this sounds like squirting. It don't sound like him busting on us. Sing it. <laughs> now I got to I'll read it. I'll read no, it. Read no, no, no. You got to sing oh, it. I got to turn it on there. Yeah, he he loses the whole entertainment factor thing. Uh, <laughs> SWV Rain. All right. Let's see here. It's about. Uh, Let's see. Squirting? It's about her coming. Nice. Um, shout, to the, shout to the squirters. Let me see some. This is a nasty little. <laughs> See, this is dope. Let your love. Yeah, let your love just fall. I, and then at the end, she says, every little drip drop. <laughs> Wait, look. Chill me with your her. loving. All right, I'm done with her. It could be about Either her. way, whatever it is, they kinky. Now, my next question for y'all. Look how I'm talking to a girl. Look how dope that was, though. No, that was hard. Classic. Nowadays, Classic. they just be like, yeah, nut on me. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with you? Yo, put some creativity into your writing, yo. Hey, yo, I don't know what happened to the little throat baby, nigga, but that was a great little six months I had when you had that song out. <laughs> and then the remix came out, mm -hmm. and my girl wanted to take a break. <laughs> 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 Joke's on her. <laughs> they want to take a break when throat baby's out. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> here's my next question for y'all. Shoot. Okay. That is going to sound stupid, but y'all can tell the truth. This is a safe space. I hate when he start the question with that. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your honest opinion on head while you're standing up. Trash. Oh, no, I'm good. It's trash. I don't mind nice it. little intermediary, though. Like, if you just, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a nice little visual. It's a visual. Mm, I'm cool. But yo, fam, I like it. About seven, about seven, eight seconds into that, I got to lay down, my mom. <laughs> That's because work, work out. You <laughs> <laughs> ain't got the legs. Legs nah. weak as up. Nah, that shit ain't, it's overrated. Yeah, no, nah, I'm cool. And you can't, you can never give it a duck. You, your legs start not because then she got you. You can't I mean that. You can't even raise your voice in the crib no more. She got you. <laughs> she got you falling and shit. Shorty did that. The what's the man? Huh? No, my uh, uh, <laughs> nah, yeah, right, no. that, that's my question. Rated. It's overrated. I'm a fan. I like it. I love it. Yeah, I'm a fan. It's a nice little visual though. It's she be awesome. looking up at you. That's cool. That's cool. She could look nails done. That'd be all right. All right, I got a question for you. Do you like a dude like pulling on your hair during sex? Um. You fuck off. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what? Not too much on motherfucking mouth today, goddammit. Yeah. Uh, fuck, man. <laughs> fuck you, okay? Listen, I am so much more fun in the bedroom that he doesn't need to pull on my motherfucking hair. Okay? I believe it. I, I am. I listen, handcuffs, spreader bars, the whole nine. Oh, my God. What, yeah. you what bar? Look, look. What are you talking about? Spreader bars? Oh what? What? Run that back. Do you ice. Know? Ice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, you Come on, you we'll find it ourselves. We'll find it ourselves. Spreader bars. Spreader bars. Look at the fucking Google song. I don't know what that means. crazy. Me either. Is that like know. get her done? What the fuck? For lifting. Holy shit. Do you see? <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. Shit costs $3,500. Oh, yeah, I can put that down. I, I can spread it myself. <laughs> I'll spread you, shorty. We don't need the bar. Oh. No. Uh, I got I one. <laughs> what is it? Somebody tell me what it is. It's the joint on your ankles that's keep it open, right? Oh, please. I'm not. Yeah, I got shoulders for that. Mm. Listen, you guys, you okay? Don't, you don't it's <laughs> fun. <laughs> yeah. like, Yo, he's going to keep getting out. that bar off. Hey, they all slim. Mom, 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 you ain't never want to hit the shorty so. back in your, you know what I'm saying? Back in your day, you feel me? When you was running, you used to hit the shorty, you pick him up, all day. throw him all over. That was my move. 
That, not no more. Nah, nah I ain't got to do that. I get about eight of them though. A little side. Then dump. I'm a, yeah, the yeah, side. Dump. Oh, the side, side is. Yeah. So you guys aren't into like you know swings and like good bondage oh. and <laughs> yeah, like harnesses <laughs> and shit. No. No. I've been down that room. Yeah. Ain't no beads. <laughs> edible draws. Edible draws. What that else? What the else they got yeah. out there? Yeah. yeah. No. I've never been down. Vibrating I don't know. panties where you get a yeah. hold oh, of no, the no. remote. Oh no, no. We just, we just, yeah. We, we, we go. Well, no. Where the girl wears yeah, it, you have wear the remote. And you get the, the man got the remote. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I pop a Viagra and end all this discussion. We ain't even gonna get to none of that. Hey, you got a little bag of tricks? Put it right there. You can put, place your little bag right there. We'll get there. The honey pack compared to the Viagra. I've never had honey pack. I keep hearing about it. That's for the young boys. It ain't better. I ain't never had anything. Huh? That's not better, right? It can't be better. Than it's not. And you know what? The young boy, I, I can't say it. I can't say it. You young boys should be ashamed of yourselves with this honey pack shit, though. What the fuck is a honey pack? That's a little, um, yeah, a little it's, base uh, it's, like it's like the like gas Cialis? station shit? Somewhere, but a little, like a half a step above so it's that. Organic um, gas station shit. Theoretically, you know what I'm saying? A little natural herb, kind of shit. Like horny goat weed type shit? <laughs> nah, it's like a little it's, honey, it's, it's like a little, it's it's a little uh, packet. Yeah, it's, it's, it probably got some. Uh, Bullshit. You know, shit ain't got shit nah, in it. Nah, they say it's supposed to have yeah. like yeah. natural yeah. herbs that kind of get you, get you, get you in the vibes. You know what I'm saying? I guess you know. Got it. You know. All right. I've never actually used it, but I've heard. I'm cool. I don't need incredible. Get you right. Incredible hawk. <laughs> incredible hawk. Incredible hawk. Yeah, incredible hawk. 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 Incredible like, <laughs> you be going crazy, huh? I'm just saying, like, you want to get her away from you at some point. <laughs> give all the tricks away. <laughs> show what day you want to show her a bad time. <laughs> God, yeah, you, you on that honey pack? Is you oh. setting the bar, huh? So you got to set the bar low. I'm just saying the way I hear these niggas talk about honey pack, but the shit that I got, <laughs> I mean the shit that. No, oh, please, different, Pop Joe. different, different, different. Pop Joe come through. It's different. Let, let me tell you something. I can't even say it on a public podcast. <laughs> Oh, we took a break that time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say it. What I can't, what I will say is, I didn't know the bad rep that 40 plus year old men got from some of the women out there until they just started sharing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the rep? Men dick be trash. Yeah, that, in your 40s. When you start getting older, that, your, your, that's when your she starts cheating with the young yeah, niggas. Your testosterone start going down. Niggas dick don't be getting as hard. None of that. So you gotta. And he don't be one to fuck. As soon as he nut, dick go right back down. He take a nap. Like they drag 40 year old niggas through the mud. They kill us. Mm. Well, that's supposed to have a bag though. Huh? That's supposed to have a bag. That's you know what I'm saying. Tricking. Right? Oh, I'm I'm doing all that. I'm saying right here. All of that. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm. You don't spoil the treat them, treat them right way, you know what I'm saying? Answer him. No, Beat him and treat him. I want, I want him to answer him. I want him to clarify his question. I'm saying, like, clarify. they say 40 year old men have, make, have bad reputations in the bedroom, they do. but y'all have positive reputations in the in the stores and then at the cashier. My uh, reputation checkout. is trash in the stores. <laughs> so you have a bad my, reputation my on both sides? My mall score is low. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Chop rock jumps the bonus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know this, Ish. Mm -hmm. I know this. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Lastly, since Ish don't want to be entertaining with us, mm -hmm. this is my last thing that I have here. I'm going to say it, and it's the truth. And y'all going to clip it and kill me for it, but I don't care. I thought this was henna. I thought it was a fake tattoo at first, but the tattoo artist said it was real too. Martha Stewart allegedly has a, a tattoo of Snoop. of Snoop Dogg. Swag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought Nigga, it let's fake. call it now. Let's call it what Snoop it is. Snoop pop that box. Let's if come on and call it what of, it is, yo. Of Cali King, Snoop beat that down. <laughs> if that's real, I don't think it's real. I, I thought saw it was real. I saw it too. No, I heard it. I didn't see it though, but I heard I it. I saw it. The tattoo artist said, unless he's lying, which he could be, but he said, today I tattooed a legend on a legend. Okay. Do we have a picture of it? I'm about to show you right now. So that's weirdo white behavior from that woman, yo. Snoop is married. Mm. Why are you tattooing my husband's face on your famous white arm? I don't care that y'all. I, I don't care if y'all fucked. Forgot about that. I don't care if y'all been fucking. I don't care if y'all tight. Got a business relationship. That white lady is weird for that. 
I forgot about that part. That yeah. white lady is a fucking weirdo for that. And nobody is coming out and saying that. Like, oh, look at this. Guy, I, th- I thought it was some marketing and shit. I ain't think it was real. If that's real, that is some other shit. <laughs> but what are they promoting? Don't they have- There's no show. And yo, the hug, the hug he had on it was a little different. On the, on the, I mean, on the commercial, it could be so. Like they got the big they, lighter they, shit together. They got a lot of shit yeah. together. Yeah. It they could. Do. It, it could. I'm be so. saying that if it's real, it's, which we don't that's know, awkward. That is some is. weirdo or behavior. Because I forgot that Soup is married. That is wild. Hmm. That is. He been married our whole life. He, he, no, he. You're right. No. Yeah, come on, wild. yo, come on. And the Instagram it. It got. It got to be a movie coming. Or something. We don't yeah. know. It's it got to be. It's this, is, this is movie. If this it ain't though, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping this. I'm keeping a close eye on this one. I'm, <laughs> on, I'm monitoring this one. This is money above our pay grade. But if it's real, dog, it's weirdo beyond our weirdo grade too. Yeah. It's weird if it's real. I mean, imagine you, walking in the house. He might have a honey you, pack. You, I don't give a fuck what he had. <laughs> what you talking about? Any workout? Yeah. Any workout? Yo, you know that's the scariest thing in the world. Imagine walking in the house. Your girl knows something before you know it. That's the worst thing in the world. Your girl know that Martha Stewart got the tattoo and you don't know. You coming in? Hey, Anna. Hey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no fucking hey, honey, man. Let me talk to you, man. <laughs> What's up with you and this old white lady? No, no, I'm not having that talk. I'm not having that talk walking in the house, yo. Martha Stewart, you jammed me up. You jammed, you jammed, you jammed nah, me up. And then speakers. when she you said, know, you jammed me up too, daddy, then what you gonna say? Nah, nah, you tell, tell her. Tell her. Wait, I ain't even know. I ain't know. Wait, tell I ain't hold up. This nigga pissing me off now. Yo. Hey, some niggas get jammed up when that speaker phone call happens. Speak to them. When I, if I'm jammed up in front of my girl and I go to, you want me to call her? Yo, you want me to call her? When I call her, boy, she better say it. She better say the shit we worked on. Yo. You better say the shit we rehearsed. You better say the shit that we practiced. We went through this hypothetical. We knew this moment would fucking arrive. And we nigga, my now. girl is good. We listen, here. Listen to this. Don't have your voice trembling. It ain't just the lines. Yo. Deliver these lines perfectly. Angela Bassett and Julia Roberts could not act out of having a fucking tattoo of my husband on your shoulder. What the, what's the script? I want to hear the script. A it's real a movie. One. It's a movie. They working on a movie. It's a real tattoo. No, you don't know that. We no, don't. no. It's, this is just a... I don't believe none of that shit. I don't believe it. Devin Devin I'm, I'm playing along. What, 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 yeah. I, this well, is a, I was, this I a wasn't promo doing shot for it. my new movie. Or the tattoo hard. situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just speaking on yeah. when you had the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they come to you as a woman... I've gotten jammed up in that call too, though, before. You did? Yeah, but this is this don't really count as an asterisk next to it. Mm. I got jammed up with a chick I really wasn't doing nothing with. So the girl was confused and had a beef with my girl. Oh, oh that's nice. Nice. I really nice. didn't have nothing happening with this girl. So Did I was know? in there, yo, call the girl. Did you know Shorty had a beef with your girl? No. Mm. That's the worst. No. I've been in that I had no idea. And you don't know that they got a beef. <laughs> I'm sitting in that call, I did you call. You're gonna feel stupid as hell. That's such as that. Ain't nothing gonna Then she called her, said and it wasn't a definitive question like, yo, are you fucking him? It was shit that the girl could play with my girl. Mm-hmm. My girl said something like, um, uh, where was you? Was you with such a, was y'all, was y'all born? Uh, yeah, bye. <sighs> All right. Now, <laughs> now you got to have the tough conversation. When you don't, when you don't, when the call can't provide the proof, that's your ass when that call is over. That's all. It's been mm-hmm. bad before. It's been bad before. I won't jam you up and ask you this this question, but you're an athlete, so I assume it's happening. No, I don't. I, I, I don't play them type games. You know what I mean? He lying? What you dapping up, misogyny? He lying? <laughs> what, what are you dapping up right now? I'm asking. So you said you got jammed I'm up, asking, and you tell him to call. This was in my twenties. Yeah, no, when you were young, wild, and free. <laughs> Watch the free shit. Yo. I wasn't that free. <laughs> But this was in my 20s. Yeah, I got, I got uh, jammed up before. That was that same girl. What's her name? That girl. Mm. That was that same girl. Mm. Ninja bitch. And, and your go-to in that moment is to call shorty? Not my go-to, but just call her. I don't care. If that's going to dead, just call a girl. Uh-uh. You confident, bro. But it didn't. Well, no, I don't try it no more. <laughs> <laughs> that was in my 20s. In my 30s, it became, what's it going to prove? <laughs> <laughs> what's it going to show you? She can say anything she wants to say. She can tell you anything. She's got me. She's got me. That's what happened in my 30s. 
You should have let people have the power. <laughs> she's winning. You gotta have. She's winning. You gotta have control us. <laughs> yeah, you hear She control us. I'm talking nah, about no somebody cap, that's no not cap, even here. No cap though. We're rap though. We're rap though. Yeah. yeah. Her words only have power if you give it. If you give the power, <laughs> like dog, it's over. It's over once you turn into that. Mm-hmm. All right, listen. All right, so everybody mm-hmm. agrees Martha Martha is a weirdo if that tattoo was real. Super Absolutely. weird. All right. Yeah. Super. I think there's some money involved Got somewhere. Hey, oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. A big bag. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Big, big something going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on. You think they pay her to get that tatted though? You think? I think they real? got something coming. Mm-hmm. I don't know what. Some that's what. That's a lot of money and a lot of. Uh, no money. They've been they here for a minute. Martha Stewart. How, how much? How much? How These much are two celebrities who have been very famous for. And very rich. Martha very, very Stewart rich for a long time. I don't rich. think this is no messy oh, shit. I don't want to hear all that very rich I know. shit. She cool. is. Uh, why she won't stand next to no white people? Hmm? What do you mean? They don't vibe. This new protector when she went to jail or something like that. They don't vibe. They don't. All right, I'm out. I'm done with you. <laughs> they don't vibe. <laughs> Yo, it was almost a fight. <laughs> you heard? You heard told him when uh. This is what happened in my house in the Super Bowl. I'll leave the names out really quickly. Uh, two, black, two black quarterbacks. Two black quarterbacks. Uh-huh. Two black quarterbacks. Yay, yay, yay. We can't lose as a people. It's two black quarterbacks. Whoever wins, guess what? They black. Oh. You would think, right? I, I can see where this could go. Mahomes is mm-hmm. mixed. Mm-hmm. No, not just that. Well, go ahead, though. Mm-hmm. I was upstairs. So this <laughs> is see all where this is going. Mm-hmm. hearsay. But Mahomes is married to a white girl. Yep. Mm-hmm. So somebody in the crib was like, well, it ain't the same type of black. <laughs> there you go. One is married to a white girl. One is married to a sister being represented by the first African-American woman. Uh, da, 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 all that painted the whole Jalen Hurts picture. <laughs> and I'm, my man, he said, when I came downstairs, I'll tell you what he said to me. But it was silence in the living room. And he was like, yo, man, Shorty just tore me the fuck up. I said, what happened? <laughs> I, said, I said, what you said? He said, they was talking about the quarterbacks and who married who and whatever. And I was like, if it ain't snowing, I ain't going. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> I said, wait, you said that to who? You said that, you said that to who? I don't know. <laughs> you said that to I, I, know, I already know. <laughs> God bless. If it ain't snowing, I ain't going to roll with you, Jack. Wow. <laughs> I know that way. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, yeah, Mel was there. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. A couple niggas was there that play in the snow, too. Oh, man. They was quiet. They was smart. They were smart. Oh, yeah, okay. They were smart. They were quiet they, when they, sisters okay, were around. Okay. They were smart. <laughs> and Rihanna was on. Spicy. Yeah. Throw it Bad time. <laughs> like, it's like the snow, right? <laughs> You gotta read the room, man. Terrible That's what she time. said. That's what she said. You gotta read the she room. She said, read the fucking room. <laughs> Look around. <laughs> this ain't the time for that. <laughs> yeah, but if I like snow, why well, I got. You know what? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> All right, right. Take a breath. Because <laughs> you're a man. JBP, JBP. Why are you Come on, it's one time, one time. JBP. Yo, you just shrunk your brain. One time, dog. <laughs> he won't walk. He won't. Uh, talk know. He won't Like it's just, This guy's got a list of, talk. He won't do this <laughs> This nigga, yeah, talk, this just nigga. One time, Yo kid. what little girl Coochie mama is watching That you be trying To look cute for <laughs> <laughs> Who be watching That you be trying To you know, It's to me It's Antoine Like who, who? I have no idea who? What you're talking yeah, about Yeah I bet you don't I bet you don't <laughs> I bet you don't uh, Alright In sad and unfortunate news uh, We lost one Lost one We sure did Lost one. This was big. This was big. Let Heartbreaking, me see. man. Heartbreaking. Right on the verge of. That's what makes me mad about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They won the fight. Everyone's about to see what time it is. That hasn't been able to see what time it is. Mm. That's what's depressing about it. Your whole life, you do what you just are born to do. You fucking help raise so many other artists, musicians, inspire them, me included. Fashion. And just all these young niggas running around trying to be like fake woke today. Like, Mm. this group was that then. Mm -hmm. Like, to be themselves in the era of everybody being tough, hardcore, it's like, man, rest in peace. 
spot. True Goy, do we know? Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, Dave. He was battling some heart issues. Uh, we yeah. don't know the official cause of that. He had cardiovascular, um, congenital heart issues. It just fucks me up that you could dedicate your life to something and then right at the change of it, mm-hmm. like right when you get the rights back, streaming, we about to go hard, like tragedy strikes. Or... This is another reason why, why, <sighs> this is another reason, this was the, another reason why I was pushed over the edge to like finally stop smoking. Like a lot of family friends have been passing, right? Mm-hmm. And, and one of them who was still here by the grace of God, uh, but his kidney failed. Like it's bad. Mm-hmm. Like so he don't, they don't, they don't expect him to live past the year and he's just confused like yo I was running eight miles a day three weeks ago mm. oh. and now it's this no I just heard a story um uh dude went to have a st- having stomach problems Ooh, that might- dude was having stomach problems oh. went to uh to the hospital mm-hmm. pancreatic cancer his wife said, yo, I was seeing my husband as my normal husband. She said within like seven days, he was damn near the walking dead. Like that. Mm. He was gone in three weeks. Yeah. Oh. Like just going from normal, you know what I'm saying? He was gone in three weeks. <sighs> like, yo, damn. Like shit is real out here. I'm about to get on the Peloton tonight, yo. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I'm just looking out for you, OG. Getting on the Peloton tonight, Eat yo. right, vegan next. Don't worry about nah, it. I ain't doing all that. Because nah, at fun. this point, right, I know we was joking earlier, but at this point, the working out ain't really for outer physical appearance. For mm-hmm. aesthetics no more. It's for health health. health. It yeah, though yeah. I could give a fuck if I ever get pecs. Now, right. at this point, <laughs> right? Is my blood flowing right? Can I breathe? Is my lung, lung in the kidney? Like, what the fuck? All this shit looks like important. Mm-hmm. Like, as I age, I, I'm, I'm doing better at recognizing the beauty of humanness mm-hmm. and like the things that we're able to do is like, I want to see if my lungs could like what they about to try to repair. Like, what? They'll yeah. fix themselves. But that's what I'm saying. You want to. Life can be beautiful if you let it be beautiful, man. Rest in peace to True Goy. We lost a pioneer. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough for your contribution, your sacrifice, Word. your fight, and just the road that you paved for all of us. For real, for real. And thoughts and prayers to fucking uh, the rest of De La Soul. Yeah, Plus and Mace. Yeah. De La Soul, Jungle Brothers. And, and Prince Paul, who also just lost his other collaborator a couple months ago, Don Newkirk. A couple of yeah. yeah. years before, yeah. Now, the one yeah. bright side that possibly could come out of it is Prince Paul posted a photo like months ago that he was in the studio with De La Soul. It sounded like they did an album that may be coming sometime. Oh. That would make sense, especially if they knew that the uh, fight for rights was coming to a close soon. Mm-hmm. And they was about to get some streaming po- mm-hmm. possibilities. They would have made some money. And if you young and confused during this conversation. Meany, 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 meany. You can tell Ice put all the music in my shit. Why is this not the remix? <laughs> <laughs> I got the remix too. Man, turn this shit off and find me the remix, goddammit. <laughs> There we go. What the fuck yeah. is going on yeah, over I here? Put, I put everything. Yeah, there we go. Man. That's on my name, the nigga. one. There we go. <laughs> Zay, you ever heard the song? Hell yeah. All right, I just got checked. My dad was I don't know what side of DJ. Philly you was from. Are you Dreams and Nightmares or I Want to Rock? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what Philly you from. First of all, it's what we do. That's you got to start. Oh, oh, there. oh yeah. Start oh, that's there. true. That's a fact. Start there, graduated Dreams and Nightmares. I Just Want to Rock. Definitely got his own lane, but. Nah, that be y'all acting like what we do don't exist in that little matrix of the hardest records ever. Y'all tripping. Yeah, how you gonna cut it off right there? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Dave, man. Word. Uh, quick question to y'all before we go. Yeah. Uh, does Hamlin ever play again in the NFL? I think so. Yes. I say yes. Yes. I say no. I say Never? yes. I say no. Next, right? season, next you say season. yes to next season. Oh, you say next season. Yeah. Ooh. Next season. I'm, I'm with season. you. I just I agree with him. It's tough, bro. I just you know I mean 
I think what people don't understand is, bro, he's a young dude and he's the healthiest possible, one of the healthiest possible people that could be out there. As crazy and tragic as it was, I just think it'll be hard for, you know, a young, what is he, 22, 23-year-old mm -hmm. um, um, who worked his entire life to get to a stage um, and dedicates everything. That's everything that he knows. That's everything about his being. And I know that he was medically cleared. So I just, I can't see a world. And I think, you know, everybody's going to rally around him and it's going to be a, a huge moment when he does finally run out the tunnel um, week one. He ain't playing no preseason. If I'm him, I ain't, <laughs> what I I ain't smelling the preseason. I ain't smelling that joint <laughs> practice. You better, you better hold up, but when he run out that tunnel week one, that's going to be a, what I, a crazy feeling. What I will say to you is the NFL, y'all medically clearing somebody is like, <laughs> that, that's, like when, that's like when the state calls the expert to the stand. <laughs> like, like that TSA when they just tap pat you down, yeah, all right, go ahead, bro. Yeah, <laughs> man. But, but I get it. I do think he's going to play again. Yeah, I mean, it's a freak accident. I mean, yeah. I don't think the likelihood of that recurring again, I, I'm not a doctor, I'm not his doctor especially, but... Uh, I'm reading here, um, they had a Dr. Tom Mayer, who is the medical director of the NFL Players Association, just last week said, I guarantee you that DeMar Hamlin will play professional football again. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's, Got it. that's the yeah. NFL PA doctor. And that's on a period. <laughs> I don't care if John Mayer said that, fam, <laughs> you are talking about yeah, billions guy. of dollars, dog. In the NFL, we saw how mad motherfuckers got when they wanted to continue a game. Mm -hmm. God forbid, and I'm not putting, I don't even want to put it in the universe, but we just doing it for pod conversation. Fam, if something happens, y'all know who Sterling Sharp is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody mm -hmm. don't know who Sterling Sharp is. I saw it. Shannon Sharp is Shannon Sharp. Mm -hmm. Shannon Sharp was a mutt compared to his brother. That nigga's brother was a fucking amazing football player. Get Most people... Dick. Whatever. <laughs> most, yo, most, most people don't know who Sterling Sharp is because they told him, yo, your heart is fucked up and you could potentially lose your life on a football field and he walked away from football. It was him and Jerry Rice mm. at one time when they was like arguing, my nigga. But they're not telling them all that though. I'm not disagreeing with you. What I'm saying is that heart shit don't be no joke. We've seen mad people in sports lose their life. The NFL will go through a whole PR nightmare if something happens to this guy, God forbid. I mean, I, I think it's outside of the NFL's hands. You know what I mean? I, like, he's a top player. He's he's still a great player. He's going to show up and, and want to compete and want to practice. Once they're they going to put him through all kind of tests, they're probably going to get him to sign a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to yeah. be a show. Know, it's going to be all the bells and whistles yeah. and pony show. But yeah. at the end of the day, he's still a, a high player. He, want, he wants that play. He's not. He, what is he supposed to do now if he walks away from the game? Right. Just be a, a, a symbol and a figure for the rest of his life until he decided to what, move on and work, get a job. He's not doing I that. UPS, in, stop hiring? Look, I was about to <laughs> say. He's not working for Amazon, I, is I, it? I, I am in agreement <laughs> with you with regards to that. Ish, can you fix your mic? Like, talk in the it's, center of the it's mic? It's right here. I, I'm in agreement with you. Like, he has worked probably since he was seven, eight years old. Mm -hmm. This is all he knows is football. I think that's what Brady's problem with retiring. That's all he knows is football. Mm -hmm. Dog, you think the NFL give a fuck about that? They got, it's a bigger issue on the hands with Tua, bro. I I, I think Demar coming and, back. Yeah, that's why I was shocked at your response. Cause which you, which response to to Hamlin? Because you were saying for months now that if you're Tua, you would never go back out there, and if something happened, you would sue the shit out the NFL. That is a fact for me. That's yeah. different though. Tua that's was two different though. Totally I'm gonna tell you why that's different, different for thing. me. I don't have I, them the same at all. I say it's different because one was with with all the brain traumatic brain. Tua's injuries, brain CTE, is rattling that they cannot in his head until since after college. You passed away. Like, they cannot diagnose CTE until after you pass away. Mm -hmm. And so that's one. Now, with this, the doctors have all medically cleared him to play. They so, cleared Tua, too. No, the that medical doctor came out and told Tua, you should never play again. Yeah. He after the first right. one. And I agreed with him. He said, after you had, after the, you had the situation where you passed out. Or a medical doctor. Uh, uh, the, head, the lead no, a CTE. Life doctor. The, yeah, the, the lead <laughs> CTE guy came out and said, yo, you should never strap up again. And then he well, played he and he got another everybody. concussion. What? <laughs> the lead CTE guy. I don't think nobody should play. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a fact. He yeah, won all the football players to stop. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, that makes sense, yeah. But Tua Brain is definitely rattling inside his head. All right. Again, I don't want to even go us down. Antonio Brown blamed his shit on Duke. I don't even want to go down this jury He's blaming his shit on his, uh, on his ex-teammate. Mm -hmm. James Harrison. He's yeah. strong, though. And he fast. But we saw the hit that did it, though. It wasn't James Harrison. The nigga from the Bengals, right? Vontez mm -hmm. Burfecht did it. 
what we assume. No, no, we saw that. We ain't, we ain't got to really assume that one. We <laughs> we saw we that. We don't know what hits he's taking we through don't, high school. No, but. I'm with you, but we can't prove when it got sure. there. But we could prove how you acted before that hit and how you acted after that Y'all don't hit. think about that shit. What? Well, do y'all just assume, not to make you the spokesperson, no, no but did that, do you assume that, or do you just pray that this won't happen to me? What, CCE and all that other good stuff? Yeah, or that one of those type of hits where your brain might rattle. I mean, I And feel, how do you feel as the uh, administrator of some of that? Well, all right, that's two sides. So first off, just as risking yourself, and I'm only speaking personally about how I feel. I ain't on you know, no spokesperson for all the teams, mm -hmm. all the players and shit, but... I mean, just me personally, it's just kind of like, I mean, if you drive Uber, you could die in a car crash. You get what I'm saying? If you, if you uh, airplane, I mean, if you a pilot, you could crash the plane. It's just, mm -hmm. you know I mean? Things that happen. What happened to DeMar was uh, one, honestly a one in a million chance. Uh -huh. I mean, obviously the CTEs and stuff as that is around and yeah, you think about it, it makes you not, I mean, obviously we don't crash out like how, you know, Ray Lewis and all, you watch that Ray old, Lewis old doc and all, yeah, they was, you know what I'm saying? So we were well, better information, but at the same time, I look at it like, you know, when you make it to the NFL, it's almost like, you know, you got the baton for your family. You know, it's up to you to run it as far as you could possibly can and, you know, change the course of your family. We changing the course of the family. I'm the first person from my family to even graduate from college. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. like, and I wouldn't even have had the opportunity if I didn't play football. So, like, it's the things that the game, the game has given to you. I mean, you already risk your life to get this far for free. You know what I'm saying? Because that could have happened in little league. That could have happened in high school. That could have happened in college. You got to the league. Oh, you now nice. you want to start thinking. He wasn't nice no, enough no, to get that under the table money, huh? Huh? He wasn't nice enough to get that under Syrac the table. Syracuse wasn't doing that, man. <laughs> Respectfully, I wish they would have. I'd have Them young boys now is caked up, but you know. Nah, I just feel like so like that. So that for as as you taking that risk yourself, because I mean, I'm, we haven't. Uh, I get dinner every Thursday with my teammates, my linebackers. We do linebacker dinner every Thursday. We watching it to a. Uh, Get a, uh, had the concussion when he first passed out the first time. We mm. we watched it on TV and we all sitting there like, damn. And we still strapped up and went to practice on Friday. Still went out and crashed out on Sunday. So that's just kind of where to go. And then still went and hit a few of them niggas, huh? Yeah, well, that's what I'm about to say. <laughs> and then on the field, bro, like when I'm in between the white lines, I'm a I'm just a different person, bro. So like, it ain't even. All right, I'm, chill out, yo. Yeah, I carry a different. Chill I carry a different. He's channeling that CTE <laughs> energy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Once they start but talking I'll about be, the, I'll be, the I'll white line, I'm going to a different mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, get your locker room shit out of here, bro. Nah, my fault. This is a podcast. But yeah, though, no, so you just tap into that different savage mode. So it's a different feeling. You don't even look at it like that. Nah, you scared me already. You like a gladiator, bro. That's really how it is. That's how I feel. See, are you not entertained? Come on now. Yeah, man. We're a rat. With you. So. Nah, I, that's a scary situation. But I, I, I actually, I think you deserve some applause. What he's saying, like, dog, it's kind of. Why are you not clapping? Him? <laughs> <laughs> they could just be lying, yo. Nah, yo, somebody just clap for you. Since they're fine, though. Nah, that's me, though. That's me, man. You know what he said? Nah, you're like, not. Nah, you, for ah! more, you forced it out of him. <laughs> he didn't even beat me. Oh, that's crazy. That's cool, yeah, we got nigga left his hand in front of his torso for mad long. <laughs> yeah, what's up? All right, what are you saying? Nah, what he's saying is basically you sacrificing your mind and your body for. For, for your generations to come. Like, that shit is deep. You gotta work out, man. That shit is deep, dog. What are you saying? <laughs> yeah, don't put he, your he little Peloton at night, bro. Yeah, he put his little deep on, man. He nah, put his little good voice on me. Nigga, work out. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he start putting that pontificating voice on. No, what he's saying is absolutely astonishing. I read a book in 80. I read a book in 89. Uh, uh, what was his name? Damn, Walter Matthews, I think. <laughs> he said if you... Yeah, fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so immature, yo. yo I love it. <laughs> All right, y'all. I really enjoyed this podcast. Hey, Flip, I don't know what you're going to do now. <laughs> now. Now all the niggas that hate you, now they got ammunition. We gave it to them, too. That was ish. <laughs> that was, you got violated ish when you get back, Flip. That was crazy. Yo. And Zaire came, sat on your seat. Yo, yo, you know, niggas in the comments be trying to roast me. Because you are you, and we sit you on that seat, they say. Like this the extra seat. No, but I mean, we got that seat over there. It's other seats, but I mean, oh. they say for us to sit the, the big football nigga on the high tier in the middle is foul. I ain't going to cap y'all doing a little way more comfortable. I can't even. It's not. Any. It's not. No, they, not? they hate it. It's not. They hate it. Oh, hate you it. got some. You little. <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. They hate it, right? You thought you had a white. Nah. 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 Nah.
one time. It'd no, be your own no. podcasters. <laughs> I should know. No, I sometimes I just want a little bit more back support, you know? Yo, she is dying and come tell <laughs> you, yo. <laughs> she is ready to go. <laughs> back support up. <laughs> now they hate these couches. They hate these couches. <laughs> They are really the aesthetically that, pleasing. But the uh, thing I can't... No, they look good. Yeah. Zaya, they look great. Yeah. Corey came with me and my mom sometimes to, like, try to design this place. Him and I specifically designed for not their comfort. <laughs> <laughs> like, we literally was looking, sitting on shit like... A little too, too comfy. comfy. You get too comfy. This is too, com- this is too comfortable. You can't pod too comfortable. I agree. You can't. I agree. So I like that these things are like, oh, my back, oh, I got to, yeah, it's a job. <laughs> yeah, look what they complain about the job. Oh, it's hard time getting up. <laughs> this <laughs> white, this white couch. I Yo, you want me to tell you what I was complaining about at the fucking post office uh, during Christmas? Huh, seasonal gig, $16 an hour, 1996. How long you want to talk there? about some complaints? How long you worked there? Don't do that. I worked there a couple years. In the, they, in the 90s, that was the job to get. If you worked at the post office, nigga, I was like being him, a football player. <laughs> <laughs> During Christmas. With free stamps? That's the fuck it was. Overtime. Mm. Mm. Overtime, and it would always guaranteed to be overtime. I could, nah, $16 I could an hour in 96. That's all right. That was yeah, when you're, when you're a kid, But with 16? overtime, that shit turned into something it's different. Like 20, we was never seeing hours, checks. Hours, we yeah. was never yeah. seeing checks like that. And they always needed workers. Mm. So if you wanted to work, you could work. So what was you complaining about? Huh? You asked. You said, "What was you complaining about?" Shit. Who the fuck is emptying that truck <laughs> <laughs> at five at five a.m.? <laughs> you niggas. Nah, they had the big foreign niggas with the back support shits on there, picking up washing machines like nigga. No, <laughs> dog. You think the post office is sweet? Dudes was in there breaking bones oh, for the forklift. Stop playing in that post office. Don't go in there thinking shit is sweet. You will die in the post office. What you think they're doing to Amazon now? Word. They ain't even let you take a piss. Yeah. You can't even piss at Amazon. They lucky that I'm a podcaster, boy. It would be so easy to rob some of these niggas today. (laughs) If you would have told me in the 90s, little nigga that tried to be a stick-up kid, that all the mail would just arrive to everyone's house by the same truck. Outside. Outside. They got niggas that follow them. Around the same time. <laughs> hey, if you would have told me in the 90s that Uber, hey, a strange car can just pick people up and drop them off <laughs> and wait in front of people's houses. You could sit somewhere. You know, sometimes the Uber niggas, they will sit at the drop-off spot oh, yeah. Yeah. for 20 minutes now. Mm-hmm. Before we end this podcast, I'll tell you all about some of my privilege. If I'm in an Uber... And that nigga pick up the next ride while I'm in there, me and him gonna square up when I get out. I don't like that shit. Nigga, focus. <laughs> focus on the job at hand, nigga. Uh, this is a $35 ride. Don't go picking up the next ride. They on their phone. He not even looking at the road-ish. I never did that before. Well, you never drove Uber. No, no, I'm you know, I've never no, been in an Uber and they picked up somebody no, else. No, 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 no. They, no. You hear it, you on the phone. And they bling, oh, bling. They hit the ball. Ball. They, they, they he accepted the ride on the phone. Yeah. He looking at you in the back. This nigga not about to tip. All right. Where I got to That's me. That's what I look like? Wow. Nah. I look like a nigga that just don't tip. You do it to everybody, man. Yo, you know know what's funny? I'm going to start this record over. On this podcast, this podcast can teach you some things. I came on here and said how... I don't tip during the Uber Eats shit like when they, well, used to. When they asked you to tip on Uber Eats, mm-hmm. I used to change it to get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> and the service community let me have it out there. Yep. And so now I leave it. That should be on 20%. I leave it. I don't even move it to 18. I leave it. Go ahead and take a little $4, nigga. Yeah, Bring the food it. to the right house. Don't spit in it. Priority, my John, too. Take oh, yeah, yeah. Always. A-set. Always. Oh, priority. Always priority. Priority. Mm-hmm. Always priority. Wait. Am I even sharing airspace with niggas that don't pay the extra priority fee? <laughs> Gotta pay the priority Got fee. To. We waiting for what? I need that bitch five minutes. Priority <laughs> mean so like Yo, this nigga don't know will, nothing. I don't. This is great. <laughs> Last so week like, you talking about I, I pride up. myself because I know a little bit about a lot. So Shut look, up, nigga. Look, look. <laughs> Uber Eats ain't Ish. What? look, the Uber driver might pick up three different orders. Shits he got, yeah, orders. You priority mean when he pick yours up, he going straight to you first. You uh, Even if 
stop two and yeah. three is on the way to you, you still get first. I, I would pay for that. What happens if everybody go do priority? I always we wondered need that. Ultra, ultra priority. I'm paying it. I, I pay priority I first. It. I don't care. Let somebody else pick my shit up then. I don't. Well, I'm a win because I ain't ordering, but from somewhere that's five minutes away anyway. Yeah, it works. Mm. <laughs> I, I get mad shit. when Wear I order shit some shit or order an Uber and the nigga talking about, all right, hold up, be right there. We got to drop something off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Drop that off after No, no, me. no, no. I don't care nothing about their well-being. <laughs> and don't pull up with an Uber bike either. I don't play Uber bikes. <laughs> oh, they don't really Uber oh, yeah, bikes? That's shit. Who you talking to? Go ahead. They but, love that shit. Yeah. City bikes, I don't like that. I don't fuck with that neither. See, the other niggas, they, they put me on. The other niggas they just be, be using a the bike because they, use the they don't bike have because insurance. they license suspended. Or they don't got insurance. Oh. Or they don't have insurance. So yeah. they got to say they in the bike, but they really be in the car. You really I feel like now, though. If you biking, though, like, I feel like he shouldn't have a job. Different, though. Nah, the nigga told me, because I, I saw one time, I'm like, yo, this shit say he on the he highway fell. with a bike. <laughs> he said, "Yeah," but he pulled up in a car. Nah, they, oh, he put the gentleman in him, on the bike. Yeah, he put it that he's on the no bike. Insurance, you don't got no license. Then you can't. You can't be in a car. Wait, hold on. You watch to oh, see no, where you your Uber driver at. No, oh, no, no, he just schooled me. What? I be wondering why it shows the bike, and sometimes a car pulls because up because yeah. his papers ain't right. He yeah. can't drive. He's a, car. a fucking felon. I will get. I will arrest him. <laughs> man, give me Salute that bag. The scammer, man. He got you your food nice and hot. Salute the scammer. He found a way around the system. He found like a way around the system. How many years still have going? license? Yeah, nigga. And you know how many years I couldn't get a job because of it? <laughs> he was rapping. <laughs> a few of them years I needed a job. Touche. <laughs> 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 hey. Word. Hey. Hey, I'm like, damn, man, I should have listened to Dylan. Got my CD out, <laughs> man. <laughs> You'd have really been pumping it up. <laughs> oh, <Yo>. shit. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> I said it. No, you had the mic was perfect to your mouth yeah. and everything. When you, when you had a little yeah. joke, bitch ass thing. <laughs> Listen, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until the next time. We bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arriva Dirty. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Do if you know. listening out there, if you a day one listener, you probably heard how I got through all of that with mad breath left. <laughs> Ah, uh, they didn't. They didn't even peep it. Hey, turn this up, goddammit. Chill me with your loving oh, rain. Oh man, nigga, breathe now. Now he want to do runs and shit on the record. <laughs> Yo, we'll be back same time, same place next week. Y'all hold it down. Peace, love, health, wealth, prosperity to y'all out there. Remember, life is a series of moments, and moments pass. So get you some ass <laughs> before your day gets to its last. <laughs> <laughs> and before we go, remember the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel and did travel to somebody's skybox. I seen y'all out there. I seen you stagnant hoes out there. <laughs> And the closed-minded women were also in those sky boxes. <laughs> definitely was. Everybody was out there, boy. And we gonna go ahead. Appropriate music to end with. Yeah. You little well, hussies. I, I got a new appreciation for the song. Why? No, now you, you know it's work. Birds. Yeah. Uh, oh nah. my God. <laughs> you trying to give it back? Be the niggas where the credits is rolling on the movie and you can still hear the actors <laughs> talking about the sink. God damn it. Uh, where'd it go? JBP, Here we go. JBP, where would you be without the JBP? Did you do Yo, it? Yo, did you time? back up? Yo, what was that? <laughs> no, you gotta I, give I a little my, sauce. No, Hold up, drugs. you could do a whole dance with your linebacker buddies uh, when y'all make a play. Hate, we nah, can't that's get hate, a little. That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. <laughs> that is hate. That is hate. New Joe Biden.